right, you know, from LA. They got the building and Nipsey got a mule in front right. of it. Yeah. Um, I forget his name. So at the time, MTV was trying to do a show with me on cars. Nipsey was supposed to pull up. Whatever happened, it didn't happen with him. Nipsey came by the office. Me and him, you know, I did my civil TV with him and everything else. Nipsey came by the office one day. I said, yo, me and my business partner, Steve, want to speak to you. He said, all right, cool. He pulled up to the office. I said, yo, you know, you're telling me you don't have, like, management, different things. Me and Steve want to work with you. Nipsey had relationships with you, with Big U. He had relationships with so many different people. I didn't X anybody out. That's not for me to do. Nipsey has relationships with everybody. And let's bring it back to the funeral. When Nipsey, when Nipsey died, I stopped working with Nipsey. God rest his dead. I stopped working with Nipsey in 2018. In 2018, before he went to um, before he went to Rock Nation. So Mac died. I was going through my own emotional, my own emotional trauma and time and, and, and falling back from a lot of things. And Rock Nation was handling his business. But then when he when he passed, I was there at the hospital and everything with everybody else. Cause that day I happened to be on I happened to be on Crenshaw because Slutty Vegan was having an event there. And then it was the same time the situation happened with Nipsey and we all went to the hospital. Let me just finish. We all went to the hospital. Sam reached out to me and said, yo, we, we, we're going to have his funeral at Los Angeles Funeral Home. I said, Sam, it's too many people who want to come. Um, he was like, well, this is what they're thinking. I said, it's too many people who want to come. Um, we got to figure out something bigger. So my role in it, I never cut a person out in the funeral. I cannot do that. That is not for me to do because you know why? There's so many people that Nipsey touched and had love with, love for. So when it was time for even tickets and everything else, I don't have a say where people sit, who came, who did whatever else. Let I understand your feelings. Wait, 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 Kita, 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 Kita let me, let me, let me, Kita, let me finish. Kita, let me finish. Let me finish. Between Hank, who is his, between Hank, who is his manager, between Hank and and Khadijah Malika and myself, we helped organize and put this whole, we helped put the whole thing together. When it was time, there were people who were like, who, who hit me and said, yo, you know, y'all really can't do this online ticket thing because people in the hood, the Wi-Fi, everybody ain't got Wi-Fi, whatever the case may be. I gave a box of the tickets to his family. I said, so y'all can make sure whoever gets it that needs to be there because there's so many people who are part of his life. That wasn't my decision to make. What I had to worry about was getting the money to pay for certain things to make sure certain things were handled. I never sit in this direction and say, Karen, 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 I know you was before him. I've never met you. I don't, I don't, I don't know him personally to say, whatever the case may be. Him and Nip had a relationship just like Nip had a relationship with a lot of other people. But for that situation, that was one of the hardest dis situations I had to deal with because I was already mourning a friend and I couldn't mourn Nipsey the correct way. I said, at this point, I'm going to make sure I hold this man down as much as possible. I didn't control tickets when it came to people in the community who I made sure. I said the Ethiopian. I said, save this side for people who's coming from Eritrea, from D.C., which was on the side of the stage. Rock Nation had a list of their talent and everything else. I made. I said, make sure his family and friends are sitting in the front. But it was a collective. When it comes to street or street politics, I don't involve myself in that. That's something that you speak to his 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 close core about and everything else. This so I'm sorry you feel wait wait. wait. No, 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 wait, 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 you wait, 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 you referencing my point so hank from 2000 to when we stopped working together the last thing i did with Nipsey was a jordan commercial and that was from there and that was 2018 that launched on christmas after that he was with rock nation that's in the space he's in i can't cancel somebody out if i don't know if i don't know the legal 
paperwork and everything else. Then we have marathon agency. I'm sorry that you felt as though, because there was a lot of people who who hit me with that and who was just like, yo, it's just like, I have all this love. There were so many people who wanted to show him love. That wasn't well, something that I could think to make a public apology to us, to go to us that broke our motherfucking back for me. Yeah, but did you, you but this is, but listen, but you need music but for the I, I didn't Did know that you ever make a public This is my first time, Peter. What did I take credit for? What did I take credit for? What did I take credit for? What did I take credit for that started before Marathon? I didn't take anything to do. I didn't, excuse me, Proud to Pay. Proud to Pay was the first thing I worked on with Nipsey. Proud to Pay was the first thing we worked on. You took part in the $100 CD and the $1,000. Yeah, the, you was yeah, the proud to, you got the proud Obama, to pay. you got JC. You got Beyonce. Nip did that shit on his own. The nigga was a fucking genius. He was a pure fucking genius. And you took credit for shit you did not do. And I'm, I'm telling you, as a friend, as a person who loves Nip to death, as a person who worked beside Big U as his assistant for 17 mm -hmm. years, them two motherfuckers broke their back to make Nip what the fuck he is today in debt. And you took credit for shit you didn't do. I and I listen, think anybody this on the stage a... can vouch that you took credit for shit that you didn't fucking do. So what yeah, I'm asking I you for right now, Karen, it ain't nothing against you as a person. It's against your work ethic. I'm waiting for a fucking apology. Uh -huh. I'm not uh -huh. I'm sleepless nights with my look, children look. in the fucking studio. Subscribe to end the know radio. Helping that brand. Helping that company. You didn't do a damn Peter, thing during that You time. can, Peter, 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 you can say, you can, you can say I that can we can have an offline. I'm not. All you is an apology. No. That no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. No, I'm not, because she's yelling over me. I'm I know, Peter, Peter, nah, you don't get away from what this room is No, nah, you can't, yeah, you're taking away from it, because this is the first time I'm hearing about this. I didn't know the name of music. Yeah. You said you no, no, heard from several people. No, no, yes, no, 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 not your story, but yo, you know, people from the neighborhood who go, okay, yo, so I want you to be there. I could, the could, could you let me talk? Could you let me talk? Could you let me talk? Thanks. I let you get what you said had to say out. And I don't want to keep making this thing, whole thing about Nipsey. I want to move past this, but I want to respect and honor how you feel. I, I was not aware of what you felt. I don't know any of this. I started working with Nipsey when it came to his, his uh, the $100 mixtape and when he was ready to put that out and everything else. Yes, that's when I started working with him. And when it comes to the Barack thing, yes, Mar Mar Marcus, who worked with him, got me that letter to read on stage. I don't know about this Beyonce, Jay-Z thing. I never took credit for that. I'm not sure what you're referring to, but the work I did for him, I'm proud of that. I'm happy for that. I never said I was with him at the beginning. I know there was Johnny Shipes, there was you, there was Big You, and there was another gentleman, on my, his name is escaping me right now, Light Skin Ball Head. His name is Steve escaping Lobel. me right Steve now. Steve Lobel. Steve, oh, excuse, excuse me, Steve Lobel. Steve Lobel was in... Subscribe. Make sure y'all hit thumbs up. Is she still there or did her phone? Her phone went off. She's still here. All right. So while she's not talking, Casey, are you back? Reset. All right. So let her move on. I'm going to allow her to move on. Your absolute fact, so she can touch on the Jesse. I mean, here go the thing. Kida was a bitch. All I'm asking for is you need to apologize to the Crenshaw district for how the fuck you treated. Trying to get everybody quiet right now, man. We just need to talk. What she say? Away. Her piece. It has no issue. Uh, I'm waiting for the apology on how you treat the people. Oh, 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 what the yeah. room is about, right now, Yes, dude. the fuck it is. Because I made the room. Get her out of here. I know, okay, but you, you just Kita, have the other young lady. Hold on, Kita. Let, the, let, let her address let, the other lady. Let them reset. Let them reset. Yeah, let me reset. Let me reset. Let me reset. Hold up, hold up, y'all. Hold up. Talk to you offline on that. Yeah, hold up. We're gonna reset right quick. I want to mm. thank everybody for joining the Crenshaw District. You feel me? I want if you haven't already followed the greenhouse at the top. I want to thank everybody for joining the conversation. I want to thank Miss Karen Silver for popping in. 
um, Wack 100 for popping in. Also, everybody else is popping in. We got Timbaland in the audience. Want to shout out Timbaland? That's hometown. Um, VA stand up. Yes. So look, this yes, conversation yes. is concerning current civil benefit. Tried to tell y'all conversation that was created by Keita Trotter. Um, we're gonna let them two talk. Keita Trotter and Miss Current Civil. That is all. Uh, Miss Current Civil began. To, you know, I'm gonna give you the opportunity. Go ahead, and continue to speak. Okay, okay, right so now, I'm go sorry. Ahead. Sorry, Wait, so my, my phone, my, my phone, my phone cut off. Listen, I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be transparent in this conversation. I'm not doing this in front of an audience. Kita has real, listen, Kita has feelings. She has something that she wants to get off her chest. I'd rather her have a conversation with me because I didn't know all of this transpired. Again, I did the work. Everybody was a part of Nipsey's life. There was a lot of people who were part of Nipsey's life, and I never tried to cut somebody off or say they weren't a part of it. So for that, I'm gonna tell her I apologize if she felt as though oh if she felt as though I didn't make her, I I excluded her in, in any no way, way which to me I to me I didn't think was plausible or think I did. But I don't want to keep this conversation going on Nip. If she, me and Keita can have a sidebar conversation because this is the first time I'm hearing about it. Yeah, or, no, I yeah, accept your apology, yeah. Karen, but let's yeah. talk, y'all. I accept your apology, Karen, but it ain't really about me. It's okay, about the feelings me. of the people of the Crenshaw it's District, a uh, unique music, of uh, the work that we put in. That's all I was yeah, asking. I, no, 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 work. Saying, you gave this to me, and I was... No, I gave, I, I'm giving it to you. No, the thing is, I'm giving it to you because I'm going to honor your feelings. We can have a side conversation because I don't know, again, and I had this conversation before with Wack. I don't involve myself in, like, the street politics. We definitely did. She ain't lying. Yeah, I, don't, she ain't lying. I, don't, I don't know the ifs and the buts. So all I know is, all I know is one person came to me because I didn't even think about this. All I kept thinking about was, I want to make sure the person that gave Nipsey that took a meeting with Nipsey, that did this, that did X, Y, Z was there. And the person who called me, actually two people, Narissa, who owns the last shop on Crenshaw, was like, Karen, all the homies don't got tickets. I said, for real, tell me how many you need. And Polly, Polly West called me, was like, Karen, what's up? Niggas out here don't got internet. How ain't you nobody get no tickets? Sure. No, nah, but I'm saying that was that was my way of going, okay, you have to also think in this climate and in that time, it's a million things, it's a million things going on. It's not to exclude you or to make you feel like you didn't matter. That's not how I'm gonna wake up in the morning, fuck this woman who was here first and XYZ. The shit you talking about is shit I gotta deal with every day. Every day. <coughs> why would I exclude another woman? But but side note, I'd rather have an off conversation with you because this yeah, is not yeah, something yeah. I want to record and this is not a memory of Nip I want to keep going. Because yeah, y'all do that, but look, let's, let's, let's move on to you addressing the, the, the lady Jess or whatever that yes. was in here saying okay. you was the extort or whatever. So Jess doesn't have no money for me to extort. So let's get straight to the end of that. Me and Jess met in 2017-18 off of social. I'm always going to reach out when there's somebody who's like, doing their thing on social, and she's a Haitian woman. I said, let me follow her. We started to become cool. There was a charity event in, in Florida, yeah, for Louine Sweet. I believe she was on my bowling team. It was me, her, Fly Tatted Sky, Mac Main, um, Sam Sneak. It was a few of us who came out. That was my first time meeting her. She was hella cool and nice. Me and her have been, me and her to me, I thought we were great through this time. Then... 2000 let me say last year somebody had to tell me this so last year and i excuse me let me even revert back i heard some of the conversations she said she said i made her career never did i say i made her career those documents are public documents i never said i'm never going to take credit for this girl's career because she had one beforehand when she was going to do love and hip-hop she spoke to me on the phone about it i gave her advice she gave me advice when i was on bullshit I thought me and her had a great rapport and everything was cool. Tiana Taylor had a party, an, uh, um, a Halloween party last October. I invited her to the party just like I invited a lot of people. So she hit me. There was a VIP room that was only like maybe 30, 40 people in it. It was like some chill shit. She hit me to try to come in the room. And I'm like, yo, it's a vibe downstairs. Everybody's downstairs. You don't need to come up. She thought I tried to play her. From that one situation, because she couldn't be in that room, she was upset. So here we are, January comes. January 2001 comes. Me and Ming drop our podcast, right? So we dropped the trailer for it. It's called Girl, I Guess. So a room like this is created like, yo, nigga took my flow word for word. People are texting me about a room. 
And I'm like, yo, what, what is niggas talking about? They're like, yeah, this girl said you stole her podcast. I said, stole her podcast? How? Me and Ming were like, me, Ming, and Joe were sitting on the thing trying to figure out a podcast name. And I'm like, how do I copy her podcast? I got Dion Warwick, Jameson Idris, Khaled. I like, I really went hard for the marketing of this. Marketing of this. I ain't looking at nobody's podcast. The only person I got, like, I thought whose podcast was dope as fuck, and I was like, we got to do an intro, was the girl Star Brim, because she had some car thing, and it was really dope. I said, I love her video, because they asked me to post it, so I said, yo, we got to come on some shit like this, because this was hard, but let's make ours funny. So this girl, Mother of Gotti, people keep telling me, who have, people who know both of us, are not connecting us to fix the issue. They're just telling me what she said, oh, telling her things, telling her things I said. I said, listen, I don't know this fucking girl. I don't follow this girl. I don't know what her podcast is, but they were telling me hers is called Girl Fuck You. I said, cool, I didn't copy her podcast. The reason we call ours Girl I Guess is when you make a mistake or you go back to somebody or you be like, I thought you was done with them. Girl I Guess, oh, he's good to me now, Girl I Guess. That's where me and Ming referenced that from. So now I tweet, I tweeted something like, yo, tell me about some other women podcasts I should listen to. Jess went underneath my comments and added the girl. So I'm like, why is Jess being funny? And I'm going to backtrack a little even more because when it comes to Jess, me and Jess had personal conversations. Like, I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and like say she's the most e Like, I don't know who this person is now. But the person I was cool with, she was very cool. Me and her would have conversations about how people talked about us, how, how we were seen online and everything. So it's like she did an interview about Nick Cannon and this girl, Danielle, who worked for Nick and how she was excluded. The girl, Danielle, called me in tears and was like, she knew I knew Jesse. And she's like, why would she do this? Da, 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 da. I said, you know what? I don't like when we do this with each other. Let's fix it and let's make money. And I don't want Jess. I know Jess is a comedian, but I don't want her to keep like going at niggas when I know she can get opportunities from this. So instead of her beefing, I want to get her an opportunity. So I hit Danielle. I said, Danielle, are you cool if I put her on the phone with Nick? Because I want to fix this. Put them on the phone. Fix it. It's cool. To me, that's what that's what I would think friends do, especially if you know both parties. So I called Jess on the phone and I'm like, yo, Jess, I was like, what's that tweet about? She's like, um... Um, what do you, I was like, Jess, why are you insinuating something? I said, Jess, listen, man, when it came to you and homegirl, I tried to fix it. I didn't try to add all this extraness. I said, all y'all niggas know this girl, but y'all won't tell me what exactly the problem is. So I, it's like, like, why y'all insinuating something? You supposed, me and you supposed to be cool. I didn't know we had a problem. Like what you add into this for? We hung up the phone. She writes me some, she writes me some tough girl message. And I respond back and I said, Jess, man, I said, I see you for who you are now. Please don't call my phone no more. Then she gets on Twitter and she goes, you know how I give it up. Bitch, who you talking to? Like, yes, I'm a bitch born from Brooklyn, raised in Jersey. Stop talking to me like this. You know how I give it up. Da -da 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 -da, talking all this tough talk when we just was on the phone. Now you got a problem with me because you want to be friends with this girl? Like, because you want to team up all of a sudden? All you had to do was put me on the phone with this girl or rectify a situation. You wanted clout and attention. That's what she wanted. Then they're both going back and forth. They don't got nothing to say to me. It turns into Karen's a scammer. Karen's this, Karen's that. I've never heard of your podcast. But then uh, Mouse Jones DMs me and he's like, Karen, you know who that is? Somebody who does all my videography work. That's his sister. I said, are you kidding me? He said, yeah. That girl that has an issue with you is his sister. So you got to find a way to fix it. So I called Nigel. I said, Nigel, why didn't you tell me this was your sister? He said, nah, I talked to her about it. I told her she was wrong. And I think, you know, people putting shit in her head. And, you know, I think people who don't like you putting shit in her head. I'm like, cool, but I don't like all of this because she's a Haitian girl too. And I'm not doing all of this. Like, I just launched the podcast. It's no disrespect to this girl. Why it always got to be a show and entertaining for niggas and we all Haitian women? That was that, right? So now we're moving forward. Now the stuff in Haiti, the stuff in Haiti, hurricane and different things. And I do my annual stuff for Haiti where I raise money. Here go Jess in my mentions. Oh, Karen gonna steal the money. Karen's gonna this. I'm like, Jess, I don't even talk to you. It's cool. We don't got to be friends. 
We don't have to be anything. I fall out with people all the time. I don't talk to them. Because you know what's going to happen? We're going to be friends again. So it doesn't matter. But here she goes. She want to put on for Twitter because that's her audience. That's how she engages. She keeps going on and on and on and on and on and on and keep going on and on and on. So I said, cool. She told me this is how she give it up. Then she comes back. She's like, you deleted my Twitter. You deleted my Instagram. I said, girl, you're harassing me all day long. What did you think was going to happen? Like, what are you talking about? All somebody got to do is all somebody got to do is report your post. Like all you, your whole social is dedicated to me because you want clout off of this. And then the girls made a, the, the girls made a whole, the girls made a whole SoundCloud podcast off of it. Right. And I'm like, yo, you're really creating something because you don't necessarily like me. Nothing built on a negative, nothing built on a shady foundation is ever going to be solid. And now her and the girl aren't friends. Jess kept going. And what made me take the lawsuit to Jess, what made me take it there with her, and what, what irked me is I've worked with Hope for Haiti for three years. This company is solid. You know what everybody say about Haiti, what people say about giving money and everything else. This company is solid solid she pe- she tweets when a hurricane happened make sure you don't give money to karen civil but then her next tweet she puts these are the organ these are the correct organizations these are real organizations you should give to the first one she tweeted was my organization so i'm like at this point walter what am i supposed to do with this girl send her a cease and desist because she won't shut the fuck up because now i know now i know her end game her end game at this point is, you know what? I'm going to keep talking about her because I get clout and attention off of this. Mm-hmm. Jess is going to get her attention, whether it's good or bad. She's going to keep getting her attention. So I had my walk, I had my lawyer take care of it. Now, here she is. She's sitting doing interviews. You're getting interviews off of me. What do you think is going to happen? Remove it. I, like I said in my live, she got offended and went hard because I went on my live and said, listen, I'm happy. I want Jess to be the best person in the world she is. Whatever the case may be, stop discussing me. Because now all of a sudden, you're like, oh, she ran with the Clintons. What are you talking about? I talked about that in my Breakfast Club interview before, and it wasn't the Clintons. Working with Hillary's campaign, I talked to her about that before I even did it. So it's like you weren't, you didn't have a problem with me back then. You didn't have a problem then, but now you're trying to find all this stuff. Use this, use this time for your career. And it's like you going back and forth and doing all this, and she went haywire yesterday. I think it was yesterday, the day before yesterday, because I went on live because we haven't been doing the podcast because I've had my own medical reasons. So people kept saying, what's up with the podcast? What's up with you and me? What's this and that? I said, let me just clear all misconceptions. I said, hey, you know, I was like, listen, me and Jesse aren't, we don't have to be friends. It's okay. We don't need to be in a place of, of understanding or whatever it is. You can still wish somebody well and let them go about their way. For some reason, that bothered her. You are allowed. People got to understand. You chose to go to war with me, and now you're mad at the weapons I choose. Yes, I went the legal route. I went the legal route because that's the only thing. I'm not about to sit in the street and fight you and X, Y, Z. And she's like, I fake booked her. No, that's a court a court appointed person to get whatever to serve you papers. That has nothing to do with me. I write a check to my lawyer. Who handles it? Nobody lied on you. Nobody disrespected you. You sit here every chance you get. You defame me. You're not even friends with the girl you started the podcast with. I'm not the problem, Jess. All you got to do is fucking relax. And when it comes to the apology, she forgot to mention this is her second lawyer. This is her second lawyer. Her first lawyer is the one who came to us and said, listen, Jesse wants to drop the case if she apologizes. I said, cool. I want to see the apology before it goes up because I know how Jesse apologizes. No offense, not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. I've seen her comedian style. I'm like, nah, I just want to prove it before she puts it up. Now you're trying to make me seem like some malicious da-da-da-da because I don't want to go back and forth with you. This, the situation isn't over. Yes, they said because I am a public person, they couldn't find they couldn't find um, slander. But it's still defamation is happening because she continues to do this. You go do an interview. I have yet to discuss you. I came in this room now because people are hitting me like, yo, it's a room about you. And I'm no not radio. about to move away from anything. I'll own my bullshit when I do it. But you started with me. I didn't come at you. I didn't disrespect you. You decided to partner with somebody and like me. You wanted to have a moment, even with your life. You're discrediting during a time where Haitian people, where we're fucked right now with with this hurricane. You're doing your thing, I'm not hating on it. You're trying to hate on, on the organization I'm working with, but then you're still tweeting them. 
So what are you talking about? Like, like, what are you talking about? And I'm not the only Haitian woman you have a problem with. It's every large, every woman in a large Haitian, Haitian media, a media personality. I may be the ones you guys are familiar with. You and her and Super Cindy have a problem. Her and the lady who runs Louise Sweet have a problem. You know, I know people may not like Mona Scott. Like sometimes Jess, and I'm not going to be in here like she want to do berate me and everything else. I don't have that in my heart for her. Because you know why? I still want the girl to win. Just leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. Get your interview. Get your thing. I never once said, girl, I made you. I said, I helped you. I helped you. There's a difference. I didn't know you long enough to do X, Y, Z. And it's and the crazy part is from her man, from her ex-managers to people who worked with her, probably she got the same thing too, people texting her and everything else. I don't put it on social. You can look on my social. I don't discredit you and, and use my radio. platform to talk about you all every single day. But this turns her on. I don't know what 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 hoopla you get off of this, but you you gave me, you literally made me have to take this legal route with you because I can't sit in the street and fight you. You're mad over nothing. And then and then even with like she's extra annoyed and it's it's past the party thing. She's extra annoyed because she's like, well, Karen didn't sue the other girl. Because you know why? Real niggas put me on the phone with the girl. Al, all these niggas is kiki and laughing that two bitches don't get along, but a real, but a real crip nigga put us on the phone from LA who don't got nothing to do with nothing. And say, no yo, what's the problem? I said, What are you talking about? He said, You got a problem with this girl named Mother? I said, what are you talking about? He said, no, I'm about to put you on the phone. We don't do shit like this. A real street nigga had to fix it. But it's all these other industry niggas in the middle of shit, like enjoying it and kikiing, and she's loving it. And like, I don't have time for this. So that's why she win the case. She didn't, I just, I just, I just spoke on that. She didn't win anything. So for the, for the slander, they dismissed. But but for the defamation, is continuing on. She showed you half of a document. The thing is way longer than that. And it's going to continue on because they would not let me amend. They would not let me amend my my um, files to add the additional stuff. She didn't win anything. So she ran around, I'm going to get a Chanel bag. I'm going to get a this. I'm going to get a that. Her lawyer wanted to settle. Her, her lawyer wanted to settle for nothing but $16,000 for his... Uh, for his law, 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 um, lawyer fees. Law fees. Yeah, his lawyer fees. Thank y'all for his thumbs up on over. the video. And it would have been over if she would have just left me alone. I don't talk about you. I don't go do an interview and go, yes, I hate Jesse Wu. Don't hire Jesse Wu. Don't do, do, do. She's the one doing this. Every chance you get, you keep at me because you know why? This is the attention you wanted. This is the attention you like this shit. I don't want this. I don't want this for myself. I'm cool. Because you know why? You and I were friends at one point. So I can't even sit here in front and be like, oh, fuck this, the way she's on this. That lets me know you were never my friend. I'm not going to sit on here on some fuck this, fuck this B, fuck this, this, because she's been in my house. She's been in my space. She's cried to me. I've cried to her. So it's like we both know how it feels to be in this Haitian media space where at times you don't feel appreciated. But then to see her turn her back the second she thought another bitch didn't like me, excuse me, let me not even call this girl a bitch. The second she thought another woman didn't like me, she went over, she jumped shit because I get it. It's it's popularity over purpose for her. If that's the way she moved, cool. I just don't need that energy. And she brought the lawsuit upon herself because you kept talking about me. And it's the disrespectful fact of everything that's happening in Haiti. I'm not down crediting what you do and how you do stuff and, and how you're moving. Like, stop doing that to me. Stop playing with me. You're playing with my name. So what else was I supposed to do? I can't put hands on this girl. What else am I supposed to do? But you're you're like omitting and adding things. Karen did this. Karen, let's, I woke up one day. Let me write her this. There's a court. There's, there's literally my lawyer handles everything. I write him a fucking check. He explains it to me that the service person, uh, the service person hit her. Yeah, they sent me a copy of the fucking tape and nobody sent it around. Yeah, I showed it to my homegirl. Like, yeah, no, I served her. Hopefully she leaves me alone because she was arguing with my homegirl too. She don't have a copy of it. Nobody threatened her. Nobody made her feel like anything. So like, what am I gaining out of this? What am I gaining from, from, from stopping her from doing anything? She's literally on the new season of Wildin' Out. I could have said, Nick, dub that. I'm not going to be that person. She still deserves this. She still deserves every blessing that's coming her way. Just leave me the fuck alone. All right, Casey, take a moment. Um, 
Jason Lee. I'm got Jason Lee in here too, Keita. Jason, Jason Lee. Lee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm right here. I'm, I'm right here. So, you know, um, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. All right. So I sat here on this new account I had to create so I can get in the room because apparently either me or somebody on the stage have each other blocked and I couldn't come in for my account. And I'm driving and I'm not going to get myself worked up because oh. I want to make sure that the tone of the conversation don't distract you from the message. Because sometimes the tone can make you get distracted from what is actually being said. I'm not here to defend Jesse Wu because all I do is report what people are saying. She said what she said. We posted that. We posted Karen's response. I'm not here to talk about what Joyner Lucas is saying about you taking his money. I'm not here to talk about... Um, Meek Mill. Uh, Meek Mill or what Cameron said or what James R said. Karen, you sent me you sent me multiple cease and desist letters for posting stories about people saying that you took their money. You and I used to be friends. You and I used to be neighbors. Before Hollywood Unlocked, you know, I owned a credit repair company and I fixed your credit. That's how close you were. Close enough for you to give me all... Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let Jason finish. Let Jason finish. Let me finish. Let Jason finish. Let me finish. One mic. We stayed We stayed in the same building. We were cool. You gave me a lot of game coming in on how to finesse in a in a in a marketing way because you're a master marketer. You're also a master at damage control. Mm. I'm not here for all of the stuff that everybody said. I got the cease and desist letters, and you know, like I told Walter, who I know and who used to be my attorney too, fuck a cease and desist letter. Mm. I'm gonna write what I need to write. Mm. And then what you did as a result of me not taking that story down, you hired that kid to hack Hollywood Unlock. Ooh. You know you paid him the 20000 You sent him all the receipts. You said it was you and Punch from TDE that were going to help him become a rapper. Whoa. This kid don't know nobody in the industry. He don't know nothing. All he knows is he poor and he want to get out the hood. And you promised you was going to help him if he took me down. You told him to take down all my personal shit, too. Oh. The only thing is you didn't pay the back end, so he got at me and he gave me that information. Oh. You know I called you about it. I recorded our conversation. Oh. We're not even going to act like that didn't happen. I recorded our conversation. And the no radio. Thank y'all for hitting thumbs up. A show, a show that I can't be fired from because you you did this and I Wait, confronted you on it. Your phone is breaking up. He said he's driving. He breaking up, kid. Okay. Your, your phone is we also up. Tried, ran into each other at West Hollywood at that hey, party. Jason, Jason, oh, wow. Jason, you Jason, you Jason run it back. Your phone was breaking up, bro. After Nick Cannon and Wilding Out, I ain't heard nothing you said after Nick Cannon and Wilding can you hear yes, me now? Yes, sir. Go Okay, I had to take my shit off. I said, oh. I said I can't be fired from Wild and Out because I'm on the show. I've been on there five seasons. I got a contract with MTV, so that wouldn't work there. The thing, what you did was you 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 used your your relationships and you used your money and you used your your you. Uh, oh lord. Your phone is breaking up. Again. Your your phone is breaking up. But I can, I can answer Jason right okay. away. Hold on, no, no, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm going to tell. It's because whoever's unmuted on the stage. Jason, get you where you got to right. There you go. I'm out. I'm on your Instagram. You can't hear you either. He said he's going to go to Instagram. Okay. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, Karen. And no, he said he's gonna leave and come when it back. To, when it comes to when it comes to Jason, I'm gonna own my bullshit with Jason because me and Jason had a lot of back. Hear- so he's one. Yeah, he's one who's absolutely right. He's absolutely right in a certain sense, not with all of it. Yes, we were neighbors. You didn't fully help me with my credit. Sean Scales is actually helping me with my credit now and has been for the last few years. So you posted something. You posted something. Me and Jason would have our back and forth because he know who he was. He was who he was with, who I was with. Yes. And this gentleman here. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, All right, cool. And and the, the person he's referring to was not Punch at TDE. That was somebody totally different. Yeah, this kid, this kid is a hacker. And to a point of yeah, Jason, you you playing this game? Yeah, I hit this nigga. Nobody promised him twenty thousand dollars. Nobody promised Ooh. him a rap career or nothing like what that. Did she just he decided to? to double back and tell you some stuff. Oh. You called me. He Jason called me about it. Oh I admitted it to Jason. See, that's what that's what he's not including in here. Oh. I admitted it to Jason. Jason and I, I apologized to Jason, Whoa. gave Jason the, the person's info at Instagram, oh. got him verified, 
thought it was copacetic. Oh, because my. afterwards, Jason hit me about Nip's funeral, and I thought we were cool. But yeah, he's absolutely right. Me and him did have a back and forth, and it was a lot of shit. So when one person, so when he goes on his rant and his tangent, and he's upset, he got a right to be upset. Me and him would go back and forth in war. Because that's one person I'll agree on. Me and him didn't see eye to eye. But the most recent stuff is confusing to me because I thought we apologized to one another. But at the same time, I can't. His hurt doesn't have an expiration date. So I can't be mad at him for that. And the so I'll own that. But there are, few, there are a few things he mentioned. <clears throat> there was no clarity. That wasn't punch a TDE. Nobody told this little kid $20,000 because this kid is still in my inbox now trying to ask me for music, play his music and everything else. No one gave this kid any false hope. But yeah, Jason is right on that. I told Jason to take something down. It had nothing to do, at this time, it wasn't with Walter. I had him to take something down that was personal with a client. He did it, and I did what I had to do. And I apologize. It got back to Jason. Jason called me upset, flipping, like, why the fuck would you do this? This is how I eat. I can own my bullshit for that. Yes, of course. Me and him, I apologize to him. We spoke on the phone. He probably did record it. And you can hear my apology on here. And I gave it to him. Then Nip's funeral happened. I gave him tickets to that. I thought we spoke to each other in Hollywood at an event. I thought it was cool. Then the most recent videos, I know he don't get along with other bloggers. And I, I, I'm i assuming for my take, I thought he thought I teamed up with them. Nah, how Jason felt before, that was his feelings. But I apologized to him. But again, like I said, certain times hurt ain't got an expiration date. So he's allowed to feel how he want to feel. But my but, but my conscience is clear from it because I apologized to him on the phone. So what was who was who was next? I, I, I think people I, I know Joyner Lucas is in here. You gonna touch on that? Because it is said that you took sixty thousand from that man. No, I hey, hold on, Karen, Casey, hold on. So Casey, hold on. Mm -hmm. Karen, Kita, I know people, whatever they feel, but I don't want this also to be attacked when everyone's just coming out with they we shit. Shit, it ain't no attack. <laughs> I, I think Karen. No, I I no, 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 her and I will talk offline. Thanks. Jess, Jess wants the fame from this. I'm not owning that because this was somebody I was once friends with. So I'm not going to go and do the B word, the this, the that. And what she's even offended by is because now I don't have a problem with that other girl. And we weren't supposed to have a problem. If Jess would have just put us on the phone, people be wanting to do all this, e the extras for what? And the same thing if Join is in this room. I hit Charlemagne this morning because I saw his tweets. This shit was seven years ago. And I'm not the only person. I don't. When somebody gives you, when somebody hires you, let me explain this for people in here. When somebody hires you, you do not keep the full fund. I don't get to walk away, and I don't even think it was $60,000. I think he's going off Cam's number from when he was mad I did Tax Stone's interview. But this is not even referring to Cam. You, the 60, he's referring to 60000 whatever the number was at the time. He has the contracts, right? I believe he posted. That goes to a radio person was hired. A PR person was hired. A mix show person was hired. There are people that that allotted to that budget. It wasn't only me. I'm sorry that you did. You felt as though you weren't where you needed to be. Because at the same time I was working with him, I was also working Dave East. And I'll never forget what pissed him off to a point that he said, I'm fucking fed up. It was an NBA 2K event. I think it was 2K. But it was a basketball event. I told him to get there at a certain time. He came like an hour or two hours later and he had to wait and he was pissed. At the time it was in New York and I was in LA and he was pissed that he had to wait. He called me, they called me a few days later while I was on vacation. I'm sorry if I'm in another country, it's my birthday. I'm allowed to have some time off and I couldn't get right back to you. The one thing I say I'm gonna take from this and this is something that I have to, that I have to realize, I have to remember when certain talent come into this and they see you work with a Nipsey or a YG or a Jeezy or whoever else, they assume, they be like, you know what, I'm going to get the same hotness. It takes time. It, it takes time. It's not something that's built <clears throat> tonight. And I actually want to have a conversation with him. But he didn't want to have a conversation with me. He wanted to have a conversation on social. Nobody took anything from you. Because if you want to say that, it's like it was a, a plethora of people hired. 
and I put that in my statement back. Like, I tried to have a real conversation with you this morning. Like, yo, let's get to the bottom of this because I don't like you feeling like this. I don't want you to walk around thinking I took this from you or I made you feel some type of way. This is shit from seven years ago. Seven years ago. I'm not saying I'm the toughest person in the world, but I've seen you before. You didn't say anything to me. I know you got, I know you got a woman. So it's just like, if anybody would have felt a way, like there's so many different ways. I didn't get legal papers, nothing. It just goes on Twitter because you know what? It, it goes back to that saying, oh, somebody's kicking her back in. That's the last time he did it. When somebody else was kicking my back in, he said, let me jump in on this too. Oh. Karen, Karen, can I ask you a question? Karen, yeah. can I ask you a question? This? Well, look, this is why it was All on right, the BDS, ahead. on the mm -hmm. BDS, and we was to pull the BDS. Will it show his mixed show activity? Hopefully so. Yeah. Well, I mean, I did he I... get did he get added to mixed shows? What I'm asking. I believe so. Yeah, I had to get a radio. I had to get, excuse me, a college radio person. Okay. And yeah. and a mixed show person for his stuff. Ver from verifying his Twitter. Getting his Apple page to get, I still have these. I still have these things from 2015. Making mm -hmm. sure that he's at events, and that's my my thing is I have to realize at times with a lot of new artists, it's harder to break. And and I I need to push back, which I have not done. I have not done for like the last year. Is I can't I can't do this because it's the expectations of what they want is not physically possible in a couple of days at all. Just so everybody know, Karen, I think what you should, what you should do, Karen, look, I'm going to do mm -hmm. you a favor. When somebody gives somebody $60,000 for this, right, okay, only about 20% is going to go towards the person that's making sure the service is handled. So let's let 12000 go to Karen to our company. That's how that works. The other 48, you're paying radio, you're paying mix show, you're paying people. You know, I spend personally about 150000 on radio per song, so it ain't a whole lot of money there. I know to a lot of people that ain't in this game, they, they hear that shit and they think they that's... They think they're like... It's not. It's, sorry to touch I mean, I'm like saying that. you should touch on that, though. Uh, touch on so that you, for people so understand. You, so you know. So say someone says, okay, I have... All right, I'm going to give you $100,000. Then there goes, all right, I got to break it down. I got to break it down. Radio... But then there's there's if it's gonna be mixed show, now I have to include advertising, which is social advertising. You know, then there's your PR person, there's your 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 marketing director, there's your person who's handling your social, there is the person who's moving you around, your videographer. I probably will bring home 10k from it. If you... So that's why it's like with I rather deal with companies than artists because it's if people think it's this money, they're like. They'll go to my page. Oh, that's where the 60K went. I'm like, 60K went where? You don't get to bring all that home. And on top of it, you pay taxes off of this. So it's not easy at all. And it's not what, and, and again, it's not, it's not what people, this perception of, oh, I just get to bring this home and I'm getting to live this life. This shit is not easy at all. This shit is not fucking easy at all. I took the chance on, because a homegirl of mine, this happened to me twice. It happened with JR, and it happened with this gentleman here I met through my friend. And she, she's, yes, you gotta work with them. You should definitely... Just mute her. Mute the mic. What's up, what? It's Miss Goldberger. Mute the mic. It's Miss Goldberger. But, okay. But it's like, People think you you get to take all, you allocate all these funds and it gets to come home. No, it got to be bust down. There's so many different people and entities who work for you. It's so many different things. So by the time this is done, I'm taking home 11, 12K from it. But then on top of that, I got to pay taxes. I got to check the other day. I kid you not. I got to check the other day for $40,000. Do you know how much I took home? $17,000. Taxes. Sis, I hear and there's you. a lot of the time there's a lot of times I know I don't make it any better because I don't I don't engage and I don't have the conversation and and then people tell me get out the room no we're gonna have a real organic conversation because I want to hear I want to hear I want to hear what people have to say and then at the same time I want I want I want to have a voice myself I want to have a voice and tell people what's going on like 
Joyner missed me with that. You and I could have got on the phone. You didn't want to get on the you didn't want to get on the phone today. We could have hashed this out, but you want to do it for social. I'm not doing this for social. I'm not doing that front face bullshit because it makes you feel good or you get on a blog, whatever. Jesse, same thing. You like the attention from it. Because if I was such a fucked up person who was a thief, who was with the Clintons, who was all of this, you would have never been my friend last year. It was just a couple of months ago. It was all good. It was all good before that fucking Halloween party set you off. And I'm sorry. I'll say this. I'm sorry you couldn't come upstairs. I'm not trying to disrespect her on this call or everything else. And it's like, it's fun to her. This shit is not fun. This shit is not cool to me. I never, I'm never going to sit here with whoever it is. When folks try to kick whoever's back in, I don't take enjoyment in this. And so, um, Kita's Kita, who was the first person who was on here, me and her have a side combo because there's so much I'm not going to say on this public because obviously people are recording this. I'm not going to say on this public thing. Her and I are going to have conversations on the side because I've never again, I'm never and I, and, and I wholeheartedly live by this because I know the feeling of being not looked upon or or people being upset with you or whatever. I'm all for communication. Me and Wack had an issue one time where he hit me on the text in the middle of a concert. Like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? And me and him, when we saw each other, I'm like, Wack, let's talk. Let's communicate. And that's what it is. And that's really what it boils down to. It's about communication. I wanted to do that with Joyner. He didn't want to do that. He wanted to get on. He wanted to get on here. He wanted to get on social and make a whole big thing. So now it turns into Karen's doing this, Karen's doing that. But for some freaking reason, I was at Beast by Dre. I'm at Louis Vuitton. I'm working with all these other companies. So it's like the blessings got to be coming from somewhere. I'm not uh-huh. running around here trying to, I'm not running around here trying to snake my own fucking people. Uh-huh. Niggas doing that to Haitians well, she right now. She ain't ducking nobody because she's running them fame. Yeah, it's just like, I'm typically like, why are you going to go into this room? Nigga, why not? Kevin, Kevin is the one who put me onto this. And I said, Kevin, why would you walk into this room? He said, why wouldn't I walk into a room about me? So I'm going to come in here and have this conversation. And it's like, yeah, I'm still moving forward with my shit with Jesse. If she want to have a sidebar, but girl, cut it out. All you're doing, I wake up every day and I'm living in, I'm living my life. This girl is have done countless interviews about me. So what you want me to do? How do how am I supposed to play this out? Am I supposed to knock, the, knock her teeth in? Or am I supposed to go the legal way? We supposed to fight like we supposed to fight like 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 fucking animals with two Haitian women. With two Haitian women. But obviously we can't have a conversation because she wants everything on social. This is just like a moment. This is a moment. This ain't a moment for me. I don't feel good arguing with another Haitian woman. And then she's she's putting bits and pieces on how this story is told. The only person in this room I gave in a was Jason. That was the only person because I told him to take something off his site. He didn't want to take it off his site. And I did my bully shit. I'll apologize for that. And I apologize to him. He's the only one who's getting it out of me from this situation besides Peter, who felt like her voice wasn't heard or she was minimizing the situation. Other than that, I ain't got nothing for I ain't got nothing for Jesse because we were once friends and you took it to a whole nother place by disrespecting me. But then you're disrespecting our country in a fucked up time. In a fucked up time. You're raising money, that's cool. I'm raising my shit too. All that money, if you click that link, that does to hope for Haiti. A hundred percent of the proceeds. I'm not sitting here degrading nothing she gotta do. But for some reason, she's going through my timeline, clicking up, linking up with niggas that don't fuck with me. Maybe somebody I, I gave a $2 tip to instead of a 10 to do whatever else like that shit is fucking corny. When I met that you the first corny. time I met you, I met you through Sky Zoo, and I never ever seen you in person. Never. I talked to you through the phone. I talked to Sky Zoo. I heard about you through Nip. I heard about you through other uh, things you were doing, and I seeked you out because of your reputation. I talked to Sky Zoo. Sky Zoo said you were solid. He was like, "Yo, Karen, solid. That's a good. That's a good way to go." I said, "Bet." This is around the time Nipsey did his hundred dollar mixtape shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, Karen's the way to go. At the time, I was fucked up. I had an investor. He done already kicked up so much money. And the only thing that I had left was a little bit of bread that we had left in which we chose to hire you. And that was a big decision on our behalf because that, that was all that was really left Wait, in the budget. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, who am I yeah, talking to? Yeah, right this is Jordan. Okay, this cool. is Jordan. Okay, cool. that's, all, that's all that was really left in the budget at that time. That was 2015. You keep saying it was seven years ago. 
But that was a big time in my life. My son was about to be just born. My back was against the wall. I had an investor who kicked up hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, on behalf of me. And at this time, you know, hiring you was like our last ditch effort to really do something. And I really believed in the name Karen Civil. And, you know, just 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 reading the publications and talking to Sky Zoo, Sky Zoo co-signing like a motherfucker. Yo, that's my girl. Yeah, yo, Karen's the real deal. Yeah, 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 that's my homie. And I kept telling Sky, like, yo, you short? You sure this is your girl? Like, you sure you trust? He was like, yo, now you're going to have a problem. Trust me. I said, all right, bet. So we reached out to you, and you had put together a little memo. We talked about it. You agreed to do it. That included blog placements for song releases, um, delivery of digital uh, short creation stories, facilitating interviews with media publications, building fan engagement articulated social content capture and red carpet event opportunities, iTunes, um, beat music productions, radio interviews, acquiring booking agents, show openings, all that shit, right? And at the time, that was that was everything. It was like, word, finally somebody that's going to help us because I ain't know nobody that can help us. I'm from motherfucking Worcester, Massachusetts, and I'm, I'm out here in Boston. Ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know the first thing to fucking do to get on. So I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying, align myself with somebody that's already in the game doing it, this person gonna take me under their wing. So you name your price. Your price was 60K, whatever the fuck it was. It was like, bet, let's pay that. Told my investor, let's pay that. This motherfucker said, You sure? You sure you want to pay this woman? You, you I said, Skazu say, you know her, let's pay her. Mind you, like I said, my son about to be born. So I said, fuck it, let's go. We paid you. I remember going to the bank. We went with Skazu. We walked, I walked in to the bank with the nigga. I, I'm involved in the whole fucking process. I'm watching the whole shit go down. As soon as he sent that bread, I was happy as a motherfucker. I said, word, Karen Civil, nigga, I'm telling everybody back home and shit, nigga, I'm about to have Karen, because all I see is the perception, Nipsey, you know, everything else that you're doing. You're I'm like, word, finally, somebody about to come up, somebody about to come help me, save me, you know what I'm saying? And finally, I'm about to do something. I don't give a fuck what it is. If she gets me some shows, if she whatever, just take me under your wing, put me on some blogs, something, because I ain't have shit popping. I had a music video I was working on called Ross Cappuccioni. As soon as that money was paid, you know, we had like a conversation on the phone. Everything was peachy on the phone call. You were like, yeah, we're going to do this, da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, word. I felt real good. And as soon as we hung up the phone, we didn't really hear shit from you. That was it. That was really it. And every single time I try to reach out to you, you're talking to me like I'm disturbing your fucking day. Mm -hmm. I'm calling you. Because I'm trying to get some clarity. I wasn't blowing you the fuck up. I just wanted to know what the plan was. What's going on? What we doing? What's the... You know what I mean? You got to remember, I'm a nigga There's who no just radio. had my investor give it the last thing. My motherfucker told me, like, yo, this is it after this, nigga. If this shit don't work, I'm already 500,000, 600,000 deep in your career, nigga. This shit don't work. I don't know what to do. So now I'm sitting here nervous. My son about to be born any fucking day now. And I'm sitting there trying to hit you because I'm, I'm looking... You know what I'm saying? For you to be like, yo, we good. I'm about to get you this. I'm about to do that. Now, what I heard you say earlier was radio got paid, such and such. Nowhere in this memo they said anything about radio. We were already paying radio. D and Shadow and them niggas or whoever the fuck is out here in New York doing anything. We already was doing that shit. We didn't pay you for radio. That's not why we got you. That's not why we... So you telling me right now that we paid radio with that where? How? I'm looking at the memo right now that you sent me. Nowhere in this motherfucker does it say you was going to put 20, 30,000 in radio. It don't say that. All it says was radio interviews. We didn't even get no fucking radio interviews. There was no show openings. There was no blog placements. And what you talking about, mix shows, we was already getting mix shows. I didn't need you for that shit. That's not why I got you because I couldn't get a fucking mix show. I didn't get you because I couldn't get a radio interview. I didn't get you because I didn't have a little bit of a little blog traction. That's not why I got you. I and felt like radio. you sold me a fucking dream. And then you stopped answering my phone call. Mind you, I got a son on the way. And then no radio. And this is all I got. You feel me? So I'm real fucked up now. And then you, every time you answered the phone, it was like, nigga, what you want type shit. Like, you're like, I'm bothering you. And then I noticed you said some shit on your tweet, like, or, or, or the shit that Shade Room posts or your little letter and shit, where you was like, Oh, you know, artists think they have 24 access to you. Motherfucker, if I just handed you 60K and I had access to you before, I should have access to you now. I can't talk to you? 
Who the fuck you think you? I can't have a conversation with the person I just handed 60K to her account. I don't know who the fuck you paid or what you didn't give no breakdown. Oh no, fam, I'm gonna let you speak. I'm gonna let you speak. I'm just kidding. I got you. I'm I'm, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay with letting somebody else talk. Hey, hold on, wait, 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 real quick. Hey, look, I'll shut the fuck up with somebody else talking. I Y'all need shit. to allow him Ooh. to finish Yo, his point. Yo, if somebody else, if she wins Terrence time to talk, I promise I shut the fuck up. Make sure y'all subscribe and thumbs up to End and No Radio. The clubhouse room is full, so you're catching it over here when you wouldn't be anywhere else. I think, I, you know, we're supposed to have 24-hour access. This is where you fucked up, in my opinion. When you sent this voice memo, I mean, this deal memo, you never broke down what exactly you were doing with the bread. It was like it was all going to you, and whatever you decide to do with it, what you decide to do with it, and we put a lot of trust behind that. I didn't even question what you did with the money. Whatever you choose to do or whoever you choose to pay was a trust situation that I felt like you knew what the fuck you were doing. If I thought you was about to go pay for some mixed shows and radio, I would have never did that shit. I didn't, that's not what I needed. I didn't want that shit. I needed you to come through, put your fucking arm around me the mm. same way I seen you put your arm around Nip. And I had those conversations with you on the phone. Well, I said, yo, the same shit, when you put your arm around Nip and all these different things you're doing, I look up to that shit. That's what I need from you. That's what I want. That's what I'm paying for. And everything was cool. We on the same page. And now all of a sudden it's woo, woo, woo. I can't do this. I don't know what niggas expect from me, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, what are you talking about, bro? And then you didn't answer the phone. You know what I'm saying? Every time I hit you, you wasn't answering the phone. And now you want some, I try to have a conversation with you. Where the fuck was my conversation seven years ago when I wanted to have one? When I'm in the fucking slums, in the back alley of my old fucking 132 Dewey Street apartment, bro. Where was my conversation when I was calling you and my son was about to be born and I didn't know what the fuck was about to happen when you was on vacation and you told me, don't disturb me while I'm on my fucking vacation. Where was my conversation? I didn't get no fucking conversation, did I? So why the fuck do I want to hop on the phone with you and, and hear you out now? Now I gotta hear you out for you to be like, hey, Joiner, what's the problem? Why you feel like this? Oh, now. So join now. Join so that's how I feel. You heard? That's how, that's how I feel. I'm, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be hype. I, I'm not trying to disrespect nobody. I'm just. I got a lot of emotions from stem from I, back then. That's that's I, coming up. You feel me? And I don't. I'm not trying to disrespect nobody. I'm just, Karen, so, let, I'm let, just let, let me ask you a question, Joiner. How would what's you up? want Karen to correct the situation with you and her? How would you want it done? No, I, I want to. Can I answer that first before he answers this? In the yes. Can I answer, can I, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Who is that? This is Kita. Kita. Okay. Cool. Let me answer this first, Joyner. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you in neutral tones. So I get what you're saying—the disrespect of everybody else. Let's not do that to one another. No, I'm not get, yeah, no, 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 I'm, listen, I'm listen. just saying my voice is it's only it's be, not to be disrespectful to like I'm yelling so, at you. I just have a lot mm -hmm. of passion on what I'm saying. And then I don't want okay. you to take it like that. It's not, it's okay. not to that. I just, you feel okay. me? So okay. uh, I got that. So I'm going to say this to, to, to answer, to answer your questions and to answer what you just said. And then I had on. conversations with, does Sean still work with you? Yeah, he's still, okay. they, they work. Yeah, cool. Okay, cool. Sean and I had plenty of conversations. I've sent Sean emails. I, I literally still have these emails pulled up. May 20, May 22nd, 2015, I had to literally go back and look for it. For the people that I brought up, the people that I brought upon on your team, the same way you said, Ken, I didn't know you was doing all of this, whoopy whoop. It's a conversation I had with Sean. I know you need certain things, the area you were from. You told me I got radio and I got city on lock here. Cool. So when it comes to interviews, when it comes to certain things, I paid out. I paid a radio person for that to help with that. A PR person. So and then can you show the me context, that? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, can you I show can. me that? Please. Yeah. Show me that. Okay. That's all I want to see. Is just show me it broken down. Just that's it. Okay. No, that's fine. But let me finish. Yeah. So then when 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 I guess you made a comment yesterday, someone sent it to me today. Even let's go back. So when you got upset when you got upset and you made your comments on on social. I'm like, where is this coming from? I called Sean and that's where you got them, them texts. You put half the texts from. I called Sean. I said, Sean, what is happening here? I know the last conversation you did say to me, you said, Karen, I have to fucking get on. I got a baby coming. I got my woman. This shit need to go. I said, yes, I understand. I got you. I understand. But at the same time, this is not something that happens overnight. I know then that. You wanna, wait, wait. Come on, I let you go. Yes. So then, so then you went on Twitter.
better the first time. You were upset. She took this and did it. I called, I called Sean. I have the call recorded. I said, Sean, what's up with this? He said, nah, he's upset. He's enraged, Karen. He just had his baby. He's going to take it down. He's just upset. Like, he's just really, like, you guys got to talk. You guys, I said, nah, at this point, I don't like this. And this is coming from a point of, like, I said, why is it okay that folks can be disrespectful online and we have to have these quiet conversations? I said, I want to get back on the phone with him. But why are we getting back on the phone after this? I said, this is messy as fuck. For no reason. He said, now nah, I'm going to tell him to apologize. I said, tell him, say this. If he if he wants something to say, to clean it up, here you go. We get back on the phone. And that's the little portion of the conversation you're showing. So even, even I'm thinking at this point, I'm like, you never posted it. I said, cool. If he wants to leave it like that, I'm going to leave it like that. I've seen you after that. I've seen you. After never that. seen you. I just want to say I've never seen you. And if you think I've seen you, I didn't know it was you. I'm just saying okay. that. If, okay. if I knew it was you, I absolutely would have approached you. I'm that type of nigga. I definitely would have walked up to you. I'm not the nigga that's not okay. going to... I'm going to okay. let you finish, let's, though. Let's, I'm going to okay. let you talk. Let, I'm going to let, let you talk. Let's, 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 let's simmer down Go on ahead. the approach. Yeah, I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to let you talk. Yeah, let's simmer down on that. Cause you, cause you keep, cause you keep with this no, narrative no, no, of oh no, you see me, but you ain't gonna say nothing. I'm not no, that nigga. But, but, Absolutely no, would have said something. No, no, I'm just no, saying. No, so. no, kill, no, that no, kill that narrative. Respect. Kill that narrative. Jonah, right. Jonah, 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 Jonah. Jonah. Okay, one mic, one mic, one mic, one mic. Hold up, Karen. go ahead, Jonah. Let her talk. I'm not okay. talking tough to you. Don't talk tough to me. We're two individuals having a conversation. Go ahead, speak. Speak, girl. Speak. Go ahead, Karen. Speak. Speak, Karen. Speak. Seeing you not from a sense of oh we got beef. Oh, communication. I've said this from the prior before this. It would have been communication. And it wasn't that. I saw you write your thing. I said, damn, this nigga is still upset by this. So I hit Charlemagne. I said, I want to get this man on the I want to get this man on the phone. Because the last time we had some shit, the shit was on Twitter. We never communicated. I want to get this communication and I want us to come to a common ground. Because I don't want this nigga to feel like this. Because I do remember that conversation with us. And you said, My baby's about to be born. This shit ain't right. X, Y, Z. I said, I do want to speak to him. Charlemagne told me what you felt. I said, forget it then. He still has an attitude and he's upset and he wants to do social. And you did social. That's what it was. So how exactly was I supposed to reach out? What else was I supposed to say when every time it's supposed to be a conversation is not, no, no, it's this, it's all this aggression. Where is this supposed to find common ground that you're not, you're not, you're not fine with the way something happened. I literally kept everything from sitting here when you even talked about Excuse me, I'm going to this email too. Even when you talked about like, I'm going to try to get you, I'm going to try to get you an agent. I have the email I sent to them. I was so fucking proactive with doing your business. I was proactive when it came to you. There's some that are hits and misses. It takes longer than other times. And that's what, you know what? I'll take that. If that's what you want, I'll take that. This shit took longer, but that's what this business is. But I didn't run away with your 50, 60K like this is sitting here being insinuated. Everybody had to get paid to be a part of this. I'm never going to sit here and just like, let me take it and fuck him. Knowing that you could actually fucking rap. Knowing you could rap. Knowing I know you're going to go places. So it's like, oh, I'm never going to see him again. I'm going to be here for the long run. I know you're going to be here for the long run. So what do I get out of that? And yes, I'm not going to take back. Like, yo, Charlemagne, I, like, I saw his comment. I wasn't mad at your comment. Like, he's allowed to feel the way he did. This just the same way I said about Jason. Your, your, your upsetness and your sadness or your frustrations don't got to have an expiration date. So that's why I said, let me get this man on the phone because I'd rather him tell me. Get it all out. You could have been on the phone. Nah, Karen, I'm fucking upset. My baby, whoop de whoop hot. What the fuck? X, Y, Z. This is what... Blah blah blah. I still have all this to this day of all the stuff that I literally tried to fucking do, and it's like I stopped as soon as the tweets went up, and I'm like, and I spoke to Sean, and I recorded that conversation, and I'm like, Sean was like, nah, he's upset, he's about to apologize. I'm like, Sean, man, why are we even doing this? This just looks whack. This is just whack that is going like this. He yells, we get into arguing, we work together. I don't want to <laughs> in public. I said I don't do Tina and Ike. I'll never forget that. I said I don't do that public display of bullshit let's argue internally let's like if, if you want to have an issue with me yo argue with me personally but then now it's on the internet everybody see this how are we supposed to move forward from this that literally was our last conversation till i saw what you said yes till i saw what you said yesterday this or well early this morning because it was like 2 a.m so i hit charlotte like let me speak to this man because at this point because like i said at the beginning of this i'm all for communication 
I want to make sure it's, it's just like, I don't want to do telephone through A, B, C, D, E, F, whatever else, because things get misconstrued. But then you said, then you told him something. And I'm like, at this point, Charlamagne, fuck it. I didn't even take home much from this shit. And I'm still dealing with this year. Not to make it seem like it's minimized. Oh, it's just a six year. Nah, that does matter. It was. I'm like, this was six years ago. This fucking shit was six years ago. Like, we should have been communicated and got to this. But then you wanted to go to Twitter, like, all oh, the blogs are removing it, X, Y, Z. And they took the shit down because it's me and Jesse's thing is a legal matter. The shit's a legal matter. And if she doesn't even understand, I'm, I'm trying to save her grace. The liable part she she got, the defamation, she's most likely going to lose. I don't even want it. I don't even want the money from her. It's the principle. It's the fucking principle is why the shit came down. But then you're like doing this, but I get it. When one person beefing with you, everybody wants to come in and do X, Y, Z. And like I said to Charlemagne, the offer still stands. You're on here thinking, oh, you gonna see me. I'm not, I don't play the tough role. I'm not, I'm a girl. I'm a woman, excuse me. I'm a woman at the end of the day. I'm not sitting here playing this, 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 this tough guy, Masona role, whatever. I'm transitioning into new spaces in my life. I'm not doing this back and forth. I'd rather have communication. You know why? Because we're going to see each other. So why have the animosity of when we see each other, this girl, duh, 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 duh. hey, what's up? Let's let's step to the side. Let's figure this out. How can we hash this out where you feel comfortable? You feel like you're just due. And I feel like I did what I needed to do. That's That's the common ground I was trying to find. But then I can't get mad. This is the same thing. Then I look at deja vu. I look at deja vu and I don't want to, you think I want to give a statement? No. I didn't even give a statement about Jess. I did my live when it came to her only because she did some interview about me on YouTube. And I'm like, here she go with the BS. You cannot be doing these interviews in the midst of this case. I don't want to talk about you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I go on my live to talk about our podcast, just me moving, my health situations, things that got go that I got going on. I lightly mentioned Jess, and it turned into that's all she needed. One conversation to take it more. No, I don't have no hatred for her. I don't have no hatred for you. Y'all can go on and do whatever it is. Like I said, if you want you want to have a personal off dialogue, all of this internet shit where niggas is fucking phones tapping at this FBI shit. Like, have a combo with me. That's what I want to do this morning. You could have called me all types of bitches, whatever else. You could have had your fucking girl come. Like, to a point, like, nah, man, I'm fucking pissed off. I might have my girl punch you in the face. Like, you could express whatever the fuck you wanted to express. I want to have a conversation with you. But it seemed like the only way I could have a conversation with everybody is in a room called Karen Sybil Ben Far tried to tell y'all. Hey, Karen, hold on. I didn't expect all these people here. to come in here now. No, well, I, I just want to say she needs to stop stealing from journalists. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. Stop stealing yeah, content yeah. from journalists. Hey, one mic, one mic, one mic. Hold up, one mic. Hold up, one mic. Hold up, one mic. I got this. Hey, conductor, I got this. So let, let me say this. Listen, listen. listen. The no she don't, they don't need sidebars if they hold the conversation. And Karen, I understood. Yeah. Yeah. That you know you didn't want it to go to social media, but you know on his standpoint, it's probably him taking yeah. up for himself. But I think yeah. the real question is, what exactly did you do with the sixty thousand, and do you plan on giving him back his money? No, there's, not there's, enough. There's, yeah, there's no, there's no sixty thousand dollars. I didn't take home sixty thousand dollars. I literally <laughs> took home twelve. Yo, I'm here. I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm here. Hey, yeah. Radio. I'm gonna have a sidebar conversation because I want him yo, to see all the damn invoices. Yo, I still yo. literally have them from from May 2015. Yeah. I still literally have this all of these. Crazy. And we talked about Man, this the beginning. Crazy, Once you give it to me, I don't get to keep the whole thing. Yo, Karen, 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 let me do this. Let me do this for you. All right, listen. Mm -hmm. And I'm letting y'all know right now, Karen, to tell you, we, we don't see eye to eye because I was real mad at her. So I'm not, I'm just going to speak what's real, right? <laughs> listen. Oh y'all, sixty thousand dollars is not gonna save your fucking career. Two, I'm gonna tell the brother I forgot his name. First place you went wrong at is when you say you wrapped your arms around her and said, I want you to do what you know how to do. Nah, you should have got an itemized breakdown of what she was gonna do. So when she when you saw radio and mix show and all these things that you was already doing on there, you could have told her, nah, I don't need you to do that. Apply that money to some other things that you may do, right? So, you know, you kind of like, put, she don't know that you didn't hire D and Shadow. She don't know that shit. So, you know, she doing what her standard format 
you know, what she does. Okay, I'll do right. this, I'll do this, I'll do this. But if you got five things that you already paid for to have done, now you eating up, so I'm going to call it your 48, because 20% of that going to go to her pocket, that just business. So now you eating up some of the 48,000 that could have went elsewhere because you are assuming that she knows everything that you're already doing. So I think, you know, not to say she didn't spend the money, but I think whoever was managing your situation, I'm going to put it on them because I'm a manager, right? Whoever was I'm managing manager. your situation, not you because you're the artist, right? They dropped the ball, nephew. And Some of that's baloney, though, because it's about right. transparency, and right. she right. likes to right. transparency. One mic, one mic, one mic, one mic. One mic. Yeah, one mic. Hey, hold on, one mic. One mic. While they argue, make sure y'all show this video some love. There's no more room left to get into this club room. It is full. So just make sure you tap that thumbs up button. You ain't got to pay to kick it over here. But thumbs up and share the video. Subscribe, too. There, there, there. And part of me breaking a song is to go there, 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 and there. That includes that, right? You cannot fault me for going to spend money in places that you previously spent money that you didn't tell me about. Because the radio team... See, they're the ones that should have told her, but they're not going to tell you because if you're going to come give me another bag for the same shit, they're going to take their bag. Now, if you're not in this business, you don't understand what I'm saying. But you, 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 you know, your management is supposed to go over those things. Karen, is, she don't do all that shit. She know people that get it done, so she's spending more of the bag. Me, I go straight to Dean Shadow. I go straight to the people. I'm streamlined with nobody in the middle, so my money going to go further. So you got to know I, 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 what you're stepping I, 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 off into I, 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 before right. you get off into it. She shouldn't have accepted the money then. Yo, what up? Hey, one, one, one mic, bro. Okay, if you're not whack or current, speak. Hold up, Karen. If you're not whack okay. or current speaking right now, bro, like, Yo, what I'm saying is, gotta chill, bro. His, management, his management didn't sit down with Karen and go over what the rollout was. So when they seen certain things that Karen had on her rollout that they're already doing, they could have X that out and then she could have put no, something else in the place. Hey, Karen, Karen, before, you, before, offline, before you before you respond, Karen, 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 no, Ms. Karen, just speak hold up, up. before you respond, break. hold up, let me reset because there's a lot of people that just joined the room that don't know the conversation in the whole, so I will reset the room right quick, Wack and Karen. Um, this is the Crenshaw District. If you haven't already, follow the greenhouse at the top. Um, this title is Karen Silva been a fraud. Try to tell y'all um, <laughs> something that was formulated by Miss Keita Trotter. Get the conversation radio. going. Um, it's been multiple people to address Miss Karen Silva, such as Jessica Wu, um, Jonah Lucas, and other people. But Karen Silva is in here. She's speaking her piece, and we will give her the the, the grace to speak her piece along with WAT 100 as they continue this dialogue. For those that just join the room again, this is Crenshaw District. I thank you for listening. Whack and current, y'all take out the floor. Yo, and just for Green the record, record, I have actively right now, me being who I am, I got an artist named True Car. My wife is in here. She cut all the checks. I'm down to 300000 in on this young man. He still ain't broke. So I say that to say this. I know 60 and 100, y'all think that's what it is. Man, sometimes we get into an excess of a million, couple million before somebody breaks. So, you know, you can't. Put it all on that. Like it, it, it's called, you heard you, the man say they was already five hundred thousand in. She was the last of the Mohicans. So you know y'all got to factor that shit in. You know people it, it don't it don't work like that. If that was the case, everybody could go tell their mama pull sixty thousand dollars out your house, mama, and I'm gonna be a superstar. It just don't work like that. All right, Wack. Let me just say something. This is Tierra. So I just want to ask. Okay, I hear what you're saying. But where is the money going? Yeah, so like I, he you ain't saying where that, that money went. Yeah, the, can he have the receipts of that? That, that that's only fair. I'm I'm not, not saying that she stole the money or did shit with it that was inappropriate. But damn, can she tell him where the fuck the money went? Yeah, she but his management was oh, crazy I, about I'm, this. Um, is his um, fucking management wait, 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 at the wait, time wait, should address that no, shit? Wait, you wait, know wait, that? I can, no, no, no. Wait, I can answer. I can answer that because the fact that I still have. A majority of them still in my email, and I mentioned this prior a few times. Him and I, he said he wanted to see it, and I said gladly. So that's not a problem. He can gladly see it. We can go. We can go through this. So then it shouldn't be a discussion yeah, after that, honestly. I think it's a discussion because it's a lot of people stepping well, up. Well, it shouldn't be a discussion. Well, he, he sees where it went. There was no work done. 
Yeah. We got Big Gov in the room too. That has. Hold on, conductor. I'm not done talking. There's actually somebody else in here. That's that just came that's about to come in. Somebody else in here. 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 It was six years ago, but for, for yeah. For but he never got years. the itemized list is the question, no, Karen. No, okay. no, That's no. the problem, his lawyer, Karen. But the thing is, his, his manager got every single invoice for what was paid out. But I still have a copy of those, which I would gladly send to him. Right. But and you got to understand, Karen. Let me just say this. Hold on, hold on. Let me say this. You have to understand that, yes, you can give an invoice all day, but we need still receipts. Because receipts come after invoices. She had them. Yeah, I'm, but listen, listen. That's what the invoice and the receipt is the same thing. So if somebody sent me... Uh, it's invoice, not the same thing. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. it is. No, 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 no. Let me finish. If it's something that I paid out for a service I'm paying out for him, and they sent it over to me, and I paid it, and I still have a record of it, I'm going to send it to him so he can see... He can see, and on top of that, I can make my. Yes, so Kara, that's so a paid. Hold on, Kara. That's a paid invoice. There's a difference between a paid invoice and an actual invoice. Because an no, invoice. No, no, hold, no, on, no, hold on, 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 hold $50,000, and I, I send you that, right. and I can show you I'm sending you that, that's a invoice. fucking receipt. Whack, but in, no, but no, 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 Whack, you got to understand that an invoice that. is one what one I'm going to get from one you, one one and then a receipt is what you give me back for panic. Thank you. Period. And that's it all is. I'm saying, Wax. I'm exactly. saying, that's Wax. How, and I'm, I'm, let no, me say so, so, uh, That's how it's supposed to be done. Hey. Like for me and Tierra, I give her the invoice and the fucking receipt to show the yeah, first of all, Keita, what you're saying is this. If you're you, saying exactly what I've been saying. I mean, some saying, people want the receipt. That nigga's, hey, that nigga's management. First of all, drop the fucking ball because they're supposed to be overseeing that. First I can of agree all. with second you on that, all, Wax. Second of all, if I send you a wire on that wire, it's gonna stipulate who it's going to, what account, and it's gonna ask for, it's gonna ask me why is it going. That's my fucking receipt. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking I, about. All right, can I can I say this real quick? Um, can I say can I say this can I say this real quick? So side note, I don't, I don't know how you um send things on here, but I want to have a sidebar conversation with Tita and Joiner too, so you can get that. But I really want to have a sidebar conversation with Tita because that's something that's more personal. And that's that's something that like matters offline off of this. No, that's that, that, that's definitely. That's, that's definitely. I think, but I do want to say I, I I had no clue Jesse was gonna come in here. I had no clue Joiner was gonna come in here. But it, it's the fact that y'all in here. So he is asking for the proof of receipt. So I mean, no, 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 I, I, was, I don't want said. you. Listen, I don't, I don't. I don't need you to apologize for that. That was the purpose of me coming in here because we're all having a dialogue and a conversation and that's fine. Jessie is allowed to speak her piece. If she feels as though that's her truth, I'm speaking my truth. You got upset. Hold on. And I, I kind of, I hope, can you guys bring up the girl that, that this was originally started from? Could y'all please bring her up? Je if yeah, possible. Well, hold on. Here. 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 If y'all yeah. got legal shit going on and y'all not... No, 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 I just want y'all to have clarity on what this is. Because again, I'm not gonna speak ill on this girl. Bring She's her used her platform to things. She ain't her doing name no is, no, not Jesse. No, no, no. Not Jesse's Jesse. in here. She's right no, there. No, no, no. And then no not radio. Jesse, the no. other girl is what this stem from. The mother of body girl. I can't have a conversation with Jesse, unfortunately. Oh, Diamond yeah. is already on stage. Thank you, okay, yeah. Hey guys. Let her talk. Let her talk. Mute your mics, please. Oh, okay, mic. Everybody mute your mic. If you if I hear an ad lib, my moderators up here will snipe you and you'll be in the booth for the rest of this conversation. That's how this is gonna go from now on, bro. Like right, real real rap. No ad libs. Let the let the people that need to be talking talk. Everybody up here listen. It's a privilege for you to be on this stage. So if you unmute your mic with an ad lib, you will get sent to the goo. All right. 
Go ahead, Miss Karen, and whoever else got to talk. I'm sorry. Give me one second. I'm, I'm, I'm. I have to take this call, but I'm coming right. I'm coming right back. In case uh, okay. While I'm muted. That's it. That's all. Okay. I'm doing. Okay. That's all. Hey, why should you take that call? Keita. Go ahead, Wack. Keita, you know damn well, right? Some of these people we pay, we pay them a certain way, and then other people we pay, we say them a whole nother way. So a lot of these people in this room don't understand that. That's why I asked. Yeah, the question not, I asked. not that, that's no, facts. Huh? Not it's facts. It's facts. I asked, and if we go pull the BDS, which I'm gonna pull that shit, when we see a spin count, because then I'm gonna see the value. You, you know, like God know everything ain't. You know, people in this room don't know that everything is paid. A lot of this shit under that table. You know what I mean? So now your management gotta pay attention to. No, this is what it is. A lot of things in this business, you really, you know, it's it's behind the scenes, right? So, you know, when you right, pay, but it's you, still invoices and receipts. No, the all fuck it ain't. Have you ever seen? I, have you ever I, seen? I, I here, hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, no, have you ever no, seen no, a way motherfucker like this? You telling me one night? Are you telling me that you saw a Let me just say what I'm gonna say. I've been being quiet. So let me just say this. When I pay a mother, if a motherfucker send me a receipt, I'm going to pay them. Uh, if they send me an invoice, I mean, I'm going to pay them and I need my receipt for that. That's what the difference is between an invoice and Have a Have you ever receipt. seen a radio payment? Now, this me you talking to. God yes, damn it. Yes, motherfucker, so, now that I'm in the point when? pending, yes. When Absolutely, who? what? You, you know it. you my you brother. I tell you everything. You got some paperwork with a radio team and they put down their payment? Who? Honey, it, go to WJLB. That's go a to motherfucking fucking... federal offense called payola. Wait, wait, it can't wait, wait, happen. Wait. It can't no, happen. because I don't life. do payola. Not what as an independent person that has hands out of my happen. own pocket. Hey, I, I, some I, shit I, does I, not happen on paper is what I'm telling you. And it's up to your management team so, to visually see. Oh, and I didn't disagree oh, with you on that. Hey, can y'all let me a wax oh. off for a second? I yeah, didn't I can, with you but that. I need one mic. I can need you one at a time. I can't understand y'all both at the same time. Okay. Some shit, some shit, you know, like I know, it's not going to happen on paper. It's not going to happen. It can't happen. Well, the damn motherfuckers need to get their business together. But I understand no, what you're saying. Management. Because I know, I know all about payola. I get it. I get what you're saying. Who's supposed but, to watch but, that, Jerry? he's saying that. that he paid her more. He paid her for other services outside of radio. I mean, he know if he got interviews and shit like that. He know if he got all that. He know he know if he got that. And if he wasn't that, he just that wanted to see where his money was going. Which I don't want to disagree with him. I'm going to keep it one. I'm going to say some shit Karen probably don't want me to say. I'm going to keep it all the way real. Please do. It smelled like it was another motherfucker getting paid on the back end, too. Because where is exactly. the manager the whole time? It smelled like somebody got some kickbacks. And that's you business. Check business. And I'm sorry. But that's that, cool if you keep it front with a motherfucker. Nah, like, okay, you know, that, ain't, that ain't her obligation. The money at. That ain't her obligation. It's the artist's obligation to be smashing on management. And if management can answer them questions, yeah, he should have did what you didn't saw us do a point of stop. He should have gotten his ass. All right, um, for sure. I, I agree just, with that. That's the part that I agree with you on. Yes, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Like it, it boils down to the people that you got around you. I wish Why, that I like, would go through a situation like that and Keita can't tell me where the fuck the money go. In this case, it's like, a conversation with Sean that needs to happen. There you go. Okay, but this yeah, should have no, been an no, itemized. No, this should have been an no, itemized no, list. No, period. No, 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 but that starts no, with management. One mic. One mic. One mic. One mic. All I was saying is, Tierra, no, over here we do receipts and invoices. No, no, I'm a, and and I'm I'm gonna continue to say again. This gentleman, uh, Sean, has every single invoice. He has every single itemized thing that I sent out. So I'm every single invoice and receipt he has. Yes, because okay. I'm still looking at the you, I want to make sure, listen, I want to make sure that Joyner has them too. That was the, that was the, but the whack, you can say it starts with wait, management. Wait, Hold on, wait, let me say this wait, real quick, okay, because you can say it starts with management, but it also starts with the artist too, because it's no way that I'm not dotting my eyes and crossing my teeth. Yeah, you know why, Kira? You know why, Kira? Because you've been in the motherfucking business 20 goddamn years. This dude, he was fresh. He don't know. That's why I start with management. 
You know that. That's you didn't watch me go in. You didn't watch me go in and fix shit after one of my dumb ass artists. You know what I'm talking about. Go Did do some dumb shit. shit. Exactly. It's I just told you I didn't disagree with you on that, but I'm just telling Karen, respectfully, you, Karen, I'm just telling you that you need to provide invoices and receipts. They're different. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so he was provided that he was uh, like I mentioned before. He was pro provided the invoice for everything that was paid out to every single vendor, to every single vendor that came from that allotted money. But that's a conversation I said with Joiner. You want to have you want to have sidebar. We can have that conversation so you can see that. But that was sent to your management. The reason I brought up um, the reason I brought up Diamond is because it goes from the fact that this is what stems me and Jesse's issue is not real. It's not something that 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 is something that mattered. It's something that could have been avoided. It was her prime thinking. I took her podcast, and then from there, she decided to jump ship and be cool with her. But come to find out, I knew the girls. I knew the girl's brother, and somebody from the streets fixed it. That was my that was my issue with Jess, and that's that's where all of this is stemming from. So I'm not speaking for... Wait, so let me just ask wait, wait, you wait. this. Hold on, no, no, no. Let me ask you a question so you can differentiate mm -hmm. the difference. Okay, so you saying that the, the joiner thing, and because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm new to this, but I'm just hearing mm -hmm. what I'm hearing. The joiner okay. thing and the Jesse thing are two totally yeah. different things, right? Yeah, those are two different things. Two different things. Okay, all right, continue. Yeah, they're, oh, they're two different things. <laughs> so now I think Diamond's up here. I'm going to let her, like, that. this has nothing to do with me. And I think Jess was annoyed. When she has a right to be, she thought, oh, okay, they're ganging up on me. Nah, Jess, that's what you did to me. I'm not going to do that to you. I don't have a problem with you. All I ask is I give, just give me the same respect I give you. Because well, girl, you, I think you shouldn't worry about no cat fight shit. Honestly, just worry no, about no, your but, business. But, just, but no, no, you can think about your business. But if it's two of your homegirls and we're all trying to make money, you say, what the fuck are you doing? We're trying to make money. We're trying to get money. Let this shit go and let's get money together. That was the premise of it. So I looked at it like, all right, I started a podcast. You and Jesse, though, not you and Joiner. No, but but now it got to a, it got to a, it got to a point. She's taking it too far with some of the shit she's saying. There's certain things you can't come back from. You're well, I, I think that I'm that not. sounds like a sidebar conversation with you and her, yeah, not cool, you and Joiner. Cool. No, no, no. I know. I said I'm having one with him. I don't know if I can have one with her right now because I'm beyond. Well, she, don't, she, she, don't. She tested my heritage and everything else, so I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Diamond say whatever whatever that from there was, and she she's the middle person in all of this because she was the one with the issue who started the original room of me thinking I took. So you said she started the whole come at Karen thing. Diamond I mean, was upset about the podcast, and she's on this. She's on here. Uh, she's up. She's up on stage. It says Diamond, I believe. I'm Is right that Jesse? Oh, I'm right here. Oh, yeah, girl. I'm getting a little. <laughs> Hold on, excuse okay, me. Uh, so how do you think that I need to speak about? Yeah, hold up. Let me let me reset before Diamond get to talking. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna reset. Um, according to the yeah, I just pulled I, I, joint I manager. Up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Joint manager here. Okay, we're gonna no, reset. No, no. I want to I wanna reset. I'm going to reset right quick. That's for those that have just joined the conversation, I want to thank you for joining the Crenshaw District. If you haven't already, hit the green house at the top. Uh, follow your moderators and those that are speaking that, you know, that you find interesting and you want to follow them on this app to hear them speak more, please follow them on this stage in the audience, wherever they may be. Okay? Now, this conversation was created by Keita Trotter right here at the in top. No Number one person on stage. Y'all make sure y'all follow her. She is the queen of the Crenshaw District. This is current civil been a fraud. Try to tell y'all. All right, now we got WAT 100 on the stage. We got Tiara Marie on the stage. TD Punch on the stage. Current civil on the stage. We got a lot of people on stage having this conversation that's giving us information and making sure we got Freddie Roosevelt and, you know, and, and a special all right. guest all in the audience, man. Like, so y'all make sure we keep this conversation civil. We keep this conversation respectful. Okay, one mic rule. Please do not talk over each other. As you hear these moderators speaking and those that are part of this conversation speaking, just please listen. All the ad libs, you will get moved to the audience. Again, I want to thank y'all for joining the Crenshaw District. I would then turn the floor over to those that were speaking. Y'all got the floor. Thank you, Commodore. Thank you. Frank has something to say. I think Frank was it. Nick was it? Yeah, Frank got something to say. Go ahead, bro. Who's that? 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 Who's that?
Okay. okay. Um, yeah, we I'm a journalist, yeah. and okay. yes, I'm, I'm a journalist, and I've Hold on, and I'm in Philadelphia. Thank you. Yeah, I'm in Philadelphia. Um, you know, I'm a journalist who's been following and based in Philly a lot of this antics that Karen has done. All I will say for where I stand on is that the reason why it's been hard to get transparency from her is because sometimes she does lack a lot of accountability on social media. Um, a lot of people have been raising concerns about some of her activities and the way that she carries. She blocks people. She isn't necessarily transparent about where she's at and what she's doing. She's taking content from journalists online. And in many ways, when she was held accountable for, I can give you an example in Philadelphia, I think it was Powerhouse, Power 99. She was out acting like she was the one, you know, on the stage and whatnot. She took that footage from a friend of mine who was a journalist in Philadelphia. When that person had confronted her about it, she blocked them. We was basically telling her, you need to, you know, cite this person's content and what they're doing. She blocked all of us, including myself. And she's been doing that to several people over the years. And I just kind of feel like the lack of transparency and accountability to the press and even some of the other stuff that she's admitted to doing tonight. I mean, I feel like it speaks to a lot to her character and why it's hard to be in reach with her. So the man who was talking about the $60,000, I'm in solidarity with you. It is hard to get in contact with Karen when it's time for her to be accountable for some of the things that she do. And that's all I got to say on it. I don't want y'all to just attack her. Like, let's... No, but let me be clear. Let me be clear. I'm a journalist, so I don't. Let me be clear. We need to. We need to. You know, not gaslight here. And I want to be with all respect to you. It's not an attack. People out here has had their money not communicated to her. People have clearly put trust in her, an expectation for her to deliver certain things and be transparent. And so, when people are calling for her to be accountable, it's not an attack. It's asking for accountability. So I have not inserted her. Let me be clear. Yeah, that's all I want to be clear about too. I just want to be clear about that. And I think. You know, given the, the weight of a lot of this type of stuff that's been going on, we should ask ourselves the question, why did it take so long for this to go public? All of these sidebar conversations that she's offering to do today, she should have been doing that so that didn't have to get on social media and get into the press. That's all I got to say. I thank you for that, Ernest. I thank you for that, Ernest. I know on stage we got other people in the group. Ms. Kern, I know you're going to want to rebuttal with any people. We're going to get some people that, well, Karen you know, is no longer here. So okay. So we're gonna let Cash speak. Um, Cash man, hey, where you at, Cash man? Hey, hey, before y'all go on, I'm I'm with Sean right now. I'm on the phone with him. Who's Sean Aaron? has no Diamond. Sean has no receipts. Sean has no receipts of Karen sending these things to him. The last thing he got was her saying she will not. The conversation will not continue to go further until Joyner apologizes. Uh oh. So these receipts that she's telling you. But she that's not said, that that's not cool because how the fuck am I giving you my money and you telling me that you're not gonna give me my receipts? Exactly. We're carrying that. Bring Karen exactly. back in here. Them invoices. That's why she left. I'm the wrong pool. He, he heard. He heard the whole thing. One mic. One mic. Them invoices don't mean shit. Karen is out the room. The eyes are kind of mine. Probably slim to none. But yeah, it is wax. Slim to none. Um, so we're going to continue. I, I know Cash Man wanted to speak. He was in the group. He hit me up a, a couple of hours ago. This stage has been going for a few Diamond hours. I want to thank y'all again. Okay, Diamond. Diamond first. Miss Diamond, where are you at? Say I, because there's a lot of people on stage, so I'm right trying here, to go through right the here. stage. Just okay. I'm right here. Okay, Diamond. Go ahead, Miss Diamond. Then we're going to have Cash Man speak next. And again, if you haven't followed the Greenhouse at the top, please do so. Follow all of your moderators, especially Miss Keith Trotter. Um, she's the queen of the Crenshaw district. So y'all make sure y'all follow her. Um, also, man, it, just for a little quick promo, make sure y'all stream body for our one and only great here on the Crenshaw district, Danny Direch on iTunes and all yeah, streaming platforms you. right now. Yeah, Lord. Right, yeah. Danny Dyrich. So go ahead, Diamond, Miss Diamond, go ahead and speak. Yes, well, the room is basically Cameron civil vendor fraud and me and Cameron worked out our differences already. So I don't know if my story really matters. But I'm the girl that they're referring to that was in the middle of the podcast um, discrepancy where there was a point where I felt like her podcast was uh, biting off of mine. And that's when Jesse uh, jumped in to what was then defend me. So I don't know if y'all want that story, if it has anything to do with this clubhouse. But I'm just the girl that, that is in the middle of both parties between Jess and Karen. I mean, she mentioned you, so you might as well tell your piece. Shit. She calls um, out. Talk about none of this shit to sound like to okay. Well, then you not one that's well, okay. To yeah, right well, Mr. Cash Man, go ahead because Miss Diamond said it don't, it's irrelevant. Yeah, Mr. Right Cash Man. Right it's cool, Diamond. Yeah, go ahead, right. Cash Man. Yeah, Speak, exactly. Cash Man. Go so, ahead, Cash. So, I just wanted to jump in about radio and how that, how that works. 
Um, yep. So, Joyner, I'm sorry that you lost your money, but how... how Read your mic, to, please. Read the mic. Benzino, mute your mic. Too close to record. Cash man. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. So, once again, Joyner, I'm sorry you lost your money, but how radio works just in the future is that they send you a proposal. And when you and your manager see that proposal, then you make the decision to wire that money. Now, I know you're asking for receipts from her. <laughs> that's a tricky that's a oh, tricky situation. Oh, okay. Cashman. Cashman, before you go forward, let me tell you that radio was paid outside of the sixty thousand. Had nothing to do with the money that she was given. And it did though, because she worked it. Because y'all oh, didn't no, tell no. her not to. Nah, I got you. Whack. Whack, but but whack. The, none of those receipts are checking out. We don't have it. I mean, you ain't gonna get that one though, bro. What I'm trying to tell you. Oh no no no. Talking. Whack whack. I'm in radio. You ain't gonna I, get that one. I, I I know the lingo. But yeah. on top of that, when the the only person that came out to be profitable from this whole thing is a girl named Echo, who was a publicist, who they yeah. paid in addition. We know who Echo right, is. Yeah, know they, that, they, they they paid her in addition to. What she got, so it it wasn't like like Karen even kicked anything out to her. She didn't do anything. Karen got hers and got lost. Uh, I was, it, what like I was what, what, is, what was everything that Karen was supposed to, like? What did she get? Like where did it go? Where is the money at? They gave her sixty thousand dollars. So what's Karen's rate? Wait, what's this her is way? where they went. Wait, this is where they went wrong at. It wasn't no fucking rollout. Where is that? I think Tierra is asking the same question. Well, like, well, what there, did she get paid for? Where was, there where is missing, you're missing the point. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. The young man sounded me like he was so excited. And I get it. Now I'm going to put it on him. His manager, they was supposed to have... Connection to what? A, I, they were supposed to have an itemized fucking rollout on what was going... what. What they and was I agree with you. His management should have been more on top of that. But I'm also saying that Karen needs to take accountability for where the fuck the money went. Period. 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 She sent an itemized list, but she never did anything with it. From so, okay, so where did the fucking money, the money go? That's all I'm asking. He never got the list. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You're we not got the know. list, but we got no receipts. You're not going to know where the money went. Let me, uh, that's what I was getting <laughs> to, to explain. Everybody wants to know where the money went. Some of the people that are hired to do radio are indie, indie radio pro promoters like me, uh -huh. right? Hold on. Then there's people at the labels that do radio that are not supposed to do radio outside of their uh -huh. radio. So you're, when you're asking for these receipts, for some of the, even some of the people y'all mentioned that are my friends or my clients that y'all mentioned today that work at labels that... Their name doesn't even need to be mentioned on the stage. Well, first of all, I didn't mention nobody's name. Hold on, let me speak again, because I've been quiet this whole time. Let me speak again. Nobody, nobody ever asked for no names of nobody. All I'm bringing up is the names Karen and Joyner. So what I'm saying is, for Karen, for Joyner's fucking people to pay Karen sixty thousand dollars, where did the money go? That's it. Like, bitch, you could just say like it went like. Here, no, there. I get like, what you're saying. Hold on. I get what you're saying, but I'm man. explaining. Radio I'm... is not on the uh, radio is not on the list. The itemized list radio is not on it. So her talking about radio. So is that not on the list? And that, that excludes wax whole point. It, radio's not on the list. The list okay, is radio, to I'm us. saying, radio was not Instagram, on the list, right? Man, y'all sound crazy. This is crazy. Go join us on Instagram. It's else. right there. I can't believe nah, that motherfucking don't ask people bro. don't understand that yo, yo, whether it's invoice or receipts. Why might you ask me? One mic, hold on, one mic, one mic, one mic, one mic, one time. Let's settle it down, let's settle it down. One mic, I'm gonna get this mic in. Hey, Joyner, have you addressed your manager? Hold on, hold on, guys, let me finish this. So we all on the same page. Hey, bro, you talking crazy. I can mention every radio consultant in the game they don't give a fuck about the world knowing they consult radio now come on stop talking like that all bro, they that care about is they can they would be secret they would be very secretive on even that is they as long as nobody say they did that with that with that that's exactly. when you cross the line bro so that's shit you talking about why? bro why would you do that then why would we be mentioning who we're hiring it doesn't oh, matter hiring everybody hiring 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 the same people that. bro no, and listen, nobody's talking about a petty radio right drug now. dealer could hire the radio consultants these days. Knock this shit off, bro. This ain't 20 years ago. You know that. And I, I feel that. like what Wax 
Black is basically saying is like for okay, yeah. joiners. Hold on, let me finish. For joiner situation, it's like okay, if you give a motherfucker sixty thousand k, you gotta you gotta be the one to make sure that every <laughs> motherfucking coin you know where it's getting spent at. Period. And then it, it, even if you can't say nothing about oh payola or whatever else is involved in it, where the fuck did the other money go? Okay, so did that go to promo? Did that go to you carrying in your pocket? Did where did it go? That's all I'm saying. I'm like, I want to know where every motherfucking coin that I spend out of my Let pocket me, went. Where I'm gonna you? keep it real with you. And I'm just gonna be real from somebody coming from the savage side to this side. Sometimes when people come, I don't know if Blue's still in there, he know. Some budget y'all come with, we gonna keep all that because we know if we spend it all on it anyway, ain't gonna do nothing anyway. Oh. I'm just gonna be real with you. Oh, Let's just talk man. some real shit. So why the Thank fuck you, you you the money Hold on, hold on. Let, me, you wait, wait, wait. let me give you some real shit. If you come to me, when we talk about back in the days when I was coming up and we, we hit licks, yo, this shit costs a quarter million dollars. Dude talking about he got eight. Man, go ahead on the spike that nigga with 20. We're going to cut the 60 up. Management be in on the bullshit, too. Just keep it real. Right? I know. Right? Talk so so what, I'm, what I'm telling y'all is this. And I'm saying this. Join her. Understand six, seven years ago, you didn't know. But I think between now and then, I think you didn't figure out that management, you need to sit down with dude. For real. Because it was on him to supervise, supervise that. And not only that, and that's the fact all I'm that saying. he okay. That's all I'm saying. Look, the fact that your manager, I'm going to tell you where the red flag is at. If somebody tell me something called 60, I'm going to say, all right, what's your fee in the 60? My fee is 12. All right, here goes six up front, and I'm going to give you 20. Boom. Let me see where that 20 go. Okay, I see where that is. Boom, I'm going to hit you with another 20. The fact that he okayed the whole WAP being sent up front tells me what's going on because I once been one of those monsters of that going on. You are not supposed to okay the whole bag going up front before any work is done. Any manager that approved that is in on the play. I don't give a fuck who they is. And I ain't mad at anything you just said. That's all I'm trying to clarify. You know Joyner, honestly, Joyner got to be more on his shit. Is all I'm really trying to say. But he ha and Karen has to be the one that provides him with what he needs to know that he's on his shit. Okay, I gave you sixty thousand. Where did you put it to? Period. Hey, hey, Period. Listen, I'm gonna say this to you. Who Karen was seven years ago, and I'm just hypothetically speaking, who she was seven years ago, because who I was seven years ago may be a little different from who she is today. Niggas was playing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was playing. Everybody was playing. I get that. But and I think Cash would understand that. But this is what playing. causes arguments because motherfuckers don't know who they dealing with. So it's like if you dealing him. with a person and I'm going to entrust you with $60,000, I need to know where every coin goes. So if you didn't, well, if you didn't say that to her, then that's your irresponsibility. But I, don't know that his, I don't think Wack is paying his radio niggas, right? Wax. Let's be right. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, I control my whole bag, bro. Wax. You paying your niggas, right? I you control paying... my whole bag exactly. in this entire. So you paying? You paying your radio niggas? You're not going to your radio niggas and saying, "Let me see every single partner you're dealing with and spreading the money around." No, you this is what I'm doing. Niggas. This is what I do. Let me tell you how it happens, right? Listen, I'm a speaking turn. Hey, listen. Hey, nigga, how much a thousand marshmallows gonna cost me? How much? All right, he's going to have for that. Okay, but whack, we need to re-up. 500 marshmallows there? Yeah, let me exactly. see. Exactly, but you're not like asking for who their hips hit. are. That's what I'm huh? saying. No, nah, you're not. You don't think that's not going to happen. I don't, don't need to know up. the connects are. I just need to know where my motherfucking money is going. Now, why don't y'all understand that? What up? But, Tierra, what you got to understand is his manager's job to track this shit. Like, but who releases the whole bag up front? 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 Who does? But, but even, even more than know. that, take, and take then it back. we put it into take, the manager's hands. What the fuck? Back. Don't y'all get about if that? If you call like, me and want a seizure from my artist and I tell you 100,000, I'm going to tell you send me 50. Not the whole 100. If your manager say send him the whole 100, that's because that nigga in on that bag and he want his kickback hurt. Listen, but, saying, but I'm go back telling to, you the truth. Well, it go all to the, sounds go back like to the some gay shit to me. The only, the only reason why we're talking about it is because the work wasn't done. Don't act like you don't know. But I'm, I'm saying don't play with my 
coin is all I'm saying. Now let me know where every dime is going. Okay, if y'all got some deals going on, uh, if I agree with it, which I might not or might will, like, let me know what the fuck is going on with my money that I'm that's putting not, out my that's motherfucking not gonna pocket, happen. period. That's not going to happen if they play. Niggas don't, don't care. Niggas don't care about that unless the results don't happen. And that's no where the problem about right lies. It's because there ain't no results. Period. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. And I don't stand no man to the day I die. <clears throat> what I'm saying is, look, he went from spending $500,000 wherever he spent it out his mouth to his last 60, and you landed on Karen Sybil? I've been in this game a long time. We knew Karen from doing what she did, but Karen ain't breaking no damn artist her. That's not happening. That's and I'm not putting it all on Karen, because it's not all her fault. Like you said, motherfuckers should have been more in line with the money that they was putting out, period. That's all I'm saying, but it's just like, why don't y'all understand that the question she should have provided the, the receipts too. Like y'all talking about invoices. You can send me 12 invoices. Hold on, hold on. You can send me 12 invoices. I don't have to pay them bitches if I don't want to pay them. Then you got a problem with me. But if I pay my motherfucking invoices, send me my receipts, bitch. That's why oh, I'm okay, listen, Hey, listen, join her. Is join her on here? Join her. You said part of that was like sit down interview, shit like that, right? Nah, he, he's not in here right now. Okay, but he said, like, sit out. So this is what I'm saying. So if his whole budget is $60,000, man, until you, look, okay, what, what, I'm going to give you this up front. You could do a lot with $60,000, though, Wack. So, I would have gave her 15, 20 max. When exactly. And budgeted myself. It's like when the said, interview is managing. happening and everything else is happening, and I see that that dub been exhausted, then I'm going to hit you with some more money. The fact that the manager, coming from a manager, approved him to send the whole 60, the investor who don't know shit, just a bag, to send the whole 60 up front, tells me so. She ain't gonna also, say that. It also she can't say that. format you're going on, too. It also depends nah, on you, that. You miss it. Because you're nah, regular, you miss you miss point, it. bro. You miss it. It's a relationship there somewhere. Nobody sending the somebody. whole bag up front before anything happens. Unless your slick ass is involved in something. Your manager shouldn't right. approve that with the investor. Okay, so do you get what you're saying right now? I Basically, know exactly what I'm saying. Oh, okay, because then you would understand why he would question Karen and what she was doing. No, nah, but his question is just start with his manager. That's cool uh, and all. And he, yes, he should question his manager first, but shit. he also got to question her too. Know what I mean? Don't, don't you question don't ever the answer the question oh, where the fuck the money went. He's not going to know. Listen, listen. He's you're never going to know. On. Listen, let me tell you something. He had the manager on the phone. Hold on, Wack. He had the manager on the phone. The manager said he never got an itemized list. He never got anything from Karen. That is what the manager said when yeah, he asked that weirdo why the fuck did he I'm approve the wire. Hold on. Am I able to speak? Right. This is right. Jesse, Jesse. Because his this artist told him said. to. Why might, 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 why that is a problem. Why did That's he approve the saying. wire? But, it's on management side. You shouldn't listen, approve the wire. No, Wax, you not. Man, not that, that, no, 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 I told you right now, like, okay, just send me 60000 and I'll take care of everything. Not like, going to happen. If, if my video guy tells me, yo, Wax, the video will cost 50000 First thing I'm going to say, yo, but that's you, Wack. All I'm saying no, is I'm that you should be able to provide I am the a receipts. manager. That's not me. I'm a manager. We got to all manage the way we're supposed to manage. But like, right. it's that's not, not, not me. The, the managers. Layout. But that's not the layout they're asking for. They're specifically just asking for some type of anything. Here's Where did she spend that. the money at? She no, no, spent the money. Listen to me. Hey, okay, let, let me, me put let it. Let me look, just you will never know where the money went because I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, all right. That's. That's like, a big thing to say, but here's the thing. All they're asking for is for proof of even, like, having the money in the first place, and she will not even well, they give. Don't they send it to her. She, she, she already said she got it. They send it to her. And that's right? where the problem is coming in. No, so that's not where the, the problem comes we from. Know but about we, the, we know about how she gets paid out in radio. Like, the problem comes from travel. the manager yeah. approving the $60,000 wire to be sent and he ain't got no rollout. He ain't got no nothing. The fact that the that, manager that's did not the that, problem. that is stupid. Don't get me wrong. That is stupid for that manager to do, but that's not the problem. The that's problem the problem. Is the Look, bro. Bro. What are you at? Because even see, outside of no my room. manager, I should be able to go to this bitch and say, well, what? He gave you $60,000 because I might fire in that. Okay, something real quick? That's the problem.
Jesse like, wants don't, to don't... speak. Let me say something really, really quick, and I'll get out to you guys' way. Um, Karen Civil is a gaslighter. Who is, is this? Who is this? Who is this? This is Jesse. Oh, Karen Jesse Civil will, got the, on who here. She's been talking about <laughs> yeah, the way yeah, that you, the way that you guys that allowed that the way that. Hey, yo, one yeah, the way that you please, guys allowed her to gaslight Joyner Lucas on here was really... Hey, but that ain't your thing, though. That ain't your thing. thing is in court. Well, that ain't, that ain't your well thing. no, so, let her speak got because she got... No, nah, because right Joyner, just that ain't her okay, thing. She I'm, don't know nothing about it. Let her finish. You got a point because let me say So I'm going to bring up my case. So People basically. are pissed off that she really did talk in a whole lot of fucking circles. Right. And she gaslit you guys. She and you guys did. let her do it. You guys had all this energy for her. And as soon as she came in here, like me, she, was I know. Able, she was able to get on here. Oh, fuck this girl. Don't talk to the streets. And all you guys bowed the fuck down. So anyway. <laughs> so, I, I, who was I, I, all I, you I, guys? Nobody bowed the fuck down. That's Cap. I'm sorry. That's Cap. That's Cap. That's Cap. That's Cap. That's Cap. That's Cap. But Can I talk? That, Let me say this real quick, yeah, Jesse. Yeah. Do you know mm -hmm. how many motherfuckers was texting my phone and calling my phone and back channels telling me, key to turn, please calm down, please calm down. So yeah, you're going to keep me up out of that. That's right. I'm one of my yeah, no, my key to, key to bed, really smoke, and we're going to But Jesse, what was you trying to say, Jesse? Jesse, are you there? You well, my, her on, Jesse, you there? Man, okay, I'm, here. I'm here. I'm here. So I'm just going to address a couple things that she said, and then I'm done, okay? First of all, she came on here, and she admitted to hiring a hacker, okay? So that is a crime. In our case, she cites defamation as me. When I, when I said in our case, I accused her, uh, well, she says I accused her of taking down my Instagram page, which did happen right after our Twitter back and forth. OK, she says me saying that was was defamatory. But here she is in this room admitting to having hackers and admitting to, to taking pages down. OK, so I just want to address that. Number I two. I, I, I heard say take page. She no, said she it was. No, yes, 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 she did say hey, it You really defended yes, her heavy, Yeah, 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 you yeah, are. She you are. To it. You, yeah, really you really are. Gonna... You really are. Um, shit, OK, they must be. OK, anyway. So then um, she also, <laughs> I, I, know, I noticed how she kept trying to say the whole diamond thing, the whole diamond thing, the whole diamond thing. And she right? kept trying to bring y'all country up. Like, at the right, end of the and bringing my, our country up. So let me, let me just address this. In our court documents, see, in this room, in this room, she admitted that Diamond had been accusing her of stealing the podcast for weeks, okay? But in our documents, she says that Diamond told her that I coerced Diamond that I coerced Diamond to do this. And that's so a in whole the chat, legal word that is not what she use. said. In the chat, that's not what she said. Our case is public. You can look that up for yourself. Third, she brings up Haiti. I love the fact that she always brings up Haiti. It's so easy to bring up Haiti for clout. It's so easy to bring up Haiti for philanthropy because a lot of you guys will never do your research because you're not from Haiti, okay? I have never, ever, ever said she stole from Haiti. I retweeted a bunch of people saying that she she um, she hijacked the free Haiti hashtag. Free hashtag free Haiti became popular in March. Why? Because our president, um, there were a lot of protests against basically our president uh, ruling by decree and essentially, not officially, but essentially moving as a dictator. Okay, and so people were marching about that. They were marching about being against dictatorship. When that happened, she took the hashtag and she started raising money. Everybody was tweeting, why are you raising money? Why are you using this time to raise money? This is not what Free Haiti is about. The hashtag is about us protesting a, a possible dictatorship, okay? So again, I, I never said she stole from Haiti, but there are a lot of people who do say she has. And if you do a simple tweet search, you will see that. Um, la next thing, next thing she said that she had, she said- Why you ain't I say that when she uh, was here though? Like you was here. I was, you I was here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me. Hello, 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 exc
Jesse Wu has been in the room the entire time because of their legal matter. Jesse and Karen could not be on the stage at the same time. Since Karen left out to take a call, I brung Jesse back up. So don't come on this fucking stage asking why she didn't say that. Because you're just coming in and we did not reset that. So I'm telling you now. Because if you say it again, I'm going to send your black ass down. Bingo. Continue, Jesse. <laughs> I just have only two more points and then I'm done. I love the fact that she brought up Nick Cannon. I knew Nick Cannon since 2016 when I was a wild and out girl. Okay. She, the, she sat in this chat room and said she had the power to take me off of wild and out. First of all, a simple Google search will show you that I spoke about experiencing colorism on wild and out. Nick Cannon saw that clip. He invited me on his TV show and he offered me a job. Not only because I voiced the truth, but also because he always thought I was talented. Now, her saying she had the power to take me off the show, I'm glad she said that. I'm glad she said that because I have a recording of me speaking to Danielle the last day of filming. And Danielle told me Karen pressured her to get Nick Cannon to take me off the show because she was upset that I was still on the show despite her suing me. So you know what? If I wanted to be a bitch, I could post that. But I didn't want to post that because if, if I do do that, it would put a lot of people's job at risk. But you know what? You said it, so I'm bringing it up. And you know what? If you do file another lawsuit, I will bring that to court. Last thing, last thing. There are not two cases. It's very easy, guys, to pay a couple dollars and to go and look up our case. Mm -hmm. she, cited defamation, she cited defamation and harassment. That's what she's suing me for. OK, so when you look at the order that I posted, it breaks that down. I don't have a reason to lie about that. Now, if she were to go ahead and file another case, she could do that if she wants to. And I believe her to be a very dis uh, a delusional and very chemically imbalanced person that believes her own lies. That's why she could get on here and lie the way that she did. Here's Jesse, the thing with her. The thing so is, is that it's nobody so is doubting any say. of the personal shit that you and her are going through. No, I'm, I'm just talking about talking the about this I'm talking about this yeah, so I'm talking about, about the case. And, I, and I'm going to say one, this last thing and I'm done. It's so convenient for her to say things like, oh, we could have a sidebar. We could have a sidebar conversation. How do you have a sidebar conversation with somebody who sues you, who gives you a cease and desist, who sues you, and then basically tells you, oh, once you go public about it, says, oh, we can have a sidebar conversation. Why didn't you just have a conversation with me from the get-go? If you're such a real chick from New York and New Jersey, you could have easily called me and said, yo, your tweet hurt my feelings. Let's have a real conversation. Why go through those extremes to try to basically drown me out of my money and then pay you, pay you an inconvenience fee and then, and then basically be shut up by the court? It doesn't make sense. So she's a gaslighter. She's a liar. And I really, really wish that you guys would have kept the same, and not all of you guys, but I really wish you guys would have kept the same cooking energy that you had before she got on stage because all most of you guys failed. That's it. That's hey, Jessica, can I ask you a question about Nick Cannon? Are y'all still friends today? <laughs> We're cool. Oh, are you? Well, listen, do me a favor. Don't never get on here and tell me she recorded somebody that he looked at as his sister. That ain't cool because I don't think she know you recorded her. I'm going to let you know that. Listen, this is a public platform, like you said. Nah, everybody all right, I don't think you know and what everything you're talking you say to. Can be you. Yeah, she lied. She gave, a, she gave an alternative. That's what I'm saying. The fact that you recorded Danielle, let me know what type of person you are. Yeah, because recording Danielle. If you try to look out for you, everybody recorded. But Danielle wasn't on the app, so Danielle should not even be in it like that. Danielle was not on the app. You missing it, dog. Fuck you mean, Dan. That's me, Danielle. That's man, that's somebody Nick look like as a sister. You know who Nick is to me. So the fact that you called Danielle and she called herself being a sister to you and, and let you, you know it. something and I you never, recorded her, that ain't her cool. a sister to me. No, but you should have been recording another bitch. You you won't call me a sister, but if I call you and tell you some shit, no, no, I, 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 I didn't record anybody, and you guys don't know the you, you guys don't that. know the history between me and that person. It's legal. You so said at the end that. of the day, she stood on here and she said she had the power to take me off. She, she had the power to take me off, but I I have. It don't matter though. What I'm saying is, I know Danielle. Well, personally. if you want to focus on that, you can focus on that. I don't want to worry about it. No, actually, no, Jesse. What I'm focused on more so than even you and her situation, because I had a friendship. 
what I'm saying is mm -hmm. with her and this joiner person, she should not, she should let him know every way that his coin was sent, period. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Give me no, time. and I agree. And the fact that everybody was trying to tiptoe around that, Jordan literally, Jordan literally posted her entire um, contract that she gave him. So why, why, could, why are you guys not hold? Not let me not say all you guys, but why is he not able to hold her accountable? For all to the hold things his that she placed in the contract. He was supposed it's to read that motherfucker. He did he not read one mind. Supposed to hold his management accountable, Tiara. He ain't got to join his own crew. The management, the goddamn parents. He's supposed to hold his manager accountable. There it goes. He still does not take away from her using the money and not doing what the fuck that contract said. And then the manager is already going to And let me say this, right? He said his manager never got an itemized list. There it is. Let me finish what I'm saying. So how is he supposed to hold somebody accountable? Because the manager hold approved on, Rack, the wire. Hold on, hold hold on, on Rack. Listen to the question. Listen to the question. How is he supposed to hold somebody accountable who is only going by the information he's given? So if he, hold on. If the manager doesn't have an itemized list. The wire don't go. Hold on. I'm not talking about the wire. Fuck That's the all wire. we no, 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 Rack. We're going to do one mic. We're going to do one mic. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what I'm saying, Rack. You got a bunch of people talking about the music. That don't know shit about the music. Listen. No, because what you trying to do, look, the manager was never supposed if he don't approve the wire, dude's money ain't gone. But that's not what I'm saying. You got to listen to the question. Listen to what he's saying first. Don't you got my, let me, wow, let me finish. I hand you $60,000 of my money. I say, you're supposed to provide these services for me, X, Y, Z. Listen to what I'm saying now, Wap. Hear me. We're going step by step. I hand you 60 grand of my daggone money. You never send me an itemized list of what you're doing. I'm coming back to you and saying, hey, where is, what What are we doing? What's next? What's next? You not contact me. Hold on, hold on. There it goes, brother. Now we got somebody with a plan. I'm almost done, You saying step by step, the first step is already wrap it up. Let me finish. 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 Let me no, no, let her stop. finish. You, you, you oh, let her finish. Let her finish. Let her finish. Listen, listen to she what I'm saying. She gotta understand the fact that. Rack, let me finish. I'm asking you to give me a service. I am paying for the service up front. I'm not talking about on the back end. Sometimes you pay for services on the front Never. end. Sometimes you pay on the back end. Listen Never. to what I'm saying. You pay for the service up front. So now I say, okay, here go my money, right? And now you got to come back and you got to say, I provided X, Y, Z of the service. They're not and when working, I keep they coming back to you and you keep telling me some fuck shit, like, oh, I ain't, I, hold on, I ain't get, I ain't got it yet. I don't oh, know where it went. Here. Hold on, whack, I'm almost done. That's not whack. And I keep that saying, me. That hold on, that. wait a minute, and I'm brushing you off. I'm gaslighting the fuck out of you. I'm not giving you any damn information. You have now taken my goddamn money and you ain't provided a motherfucking service. Kiss my ass with that bullshit. Okay, now, day, whether now, you put, whether you now put, let me correct on, you. Whether you put the money up front or whether you put it on no, the no. back end, you are, you are still supposed to provide some kind of a backing on what Therese, we're not the money. Money. Before they this pay the money. Oh, 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 YouTube live right now. Yeah, yeah wow. Wow. So it's on. Hey, hey, look. With that, hold up, hold up. One mic. One mic, please. One mic, please. Listen, with that being said, go ahead, Wack. Business, listen. In this business, it's a pecking order to the business. 
okay? That packet order to the business is really your blueprint if the business is being conducted correctly. The fact that you can go from, I handed you $60,000 before I got this, this, and this, that is totally out of order. You can't go from one to five, back to three, to eight, to two. It goes straight one, two, three, four. That money no, is isn't the last. that what I'm saying, Wack, though? Hold on, let me just ask this. Is that Hold not on. what I'm saying? Like, no, let me know where my me. motherfucking the, coins is being Listen, the fact that like, his manager, the, fuck is wrong the fact today? that his manager approved approved his manager uh, is not him if it's coming out of his uh, pocket no 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 it didn't it, his manager i mean it, bro it, only it, had it was the nigga with the bag he, he was the artist and he so had the manager wait wait remember he said see this what got my attention he kept saying his man said this is, what, this is the one go with her she official all this shit right okay the yeah. fact that he, that he allowed right that money to be wired out before he had the things that he was supposed to get and go over to approve, right? Let me know he ain't on the plane. Exactly. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, so everybody question. should be just focused on the invoices and the receipts, period. Yeah, yeah. I mean, exactly. some exactly. if it's a plane, yeah. period. I mean, you know, yeah. 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 The following video is broadcasting live, and thank you for being my studio audience. Thank you for hitting thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more black news, celebrity entertainment, and a splash of controversy. Wack got a point, Sierra got a point, everybody got a point. But at no fucking point did she stand on the stage and tell that nigga what she did with that fucking money. That's all I'm saying, Gita. That's exactly my point. But let me talk, y'all. She could have gave, but wait, wait. She could have gave verbal. What else she gonna say? She in a room with 8,000 people. If you got them in your goddamn email, you got them in your phone. Go through your phone, search the email name you sent it to, and read the shit off. You in here with 8,000 people. If There's I'm the one guilty of the crime, I'm not going to talk about it. And you didn't even give a verbal receipt. The money is she Why you fucking crazy, nigga? I'm just real shit. Kita, I'm disappointed at you. Because you act like you. Right there. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed with pictures. Kita, let me ask you a question, Kita. I want you to keep it real with me, right? She took us in circles. Wait up, Kita. Hold on, Kita. You've been a student a long time. You just sat there in that motherfucking room <laughs> where wasn't nobody else allowed in the room. Some shit was on the up and up, and some shit was a play. Am I right? You absolutely correct. That's okay, so what I'm point. trying to this get people to understand is your manager or is fucked up or joiner, right, is... The so are you going to ask yourself, one, uh, at the time of this, <laughs> he only had 5,000 followers. Of course, a motherfucker like that, you're an up-and-coming artist with an up-and-coming manager. This is what that I'm trying to say. That still does not take away the nigga from has the, the wrong team that team But what? That don't, they don't, they don't discredit that from being, that don't discredit that from being, you feel me? Like, even though you have nah, the wrong team, see, don't 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 like, like, hey, hey, hold on, what, what, what? Music business is filthy as fuck. Hold on, hey, what? Wait, 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 Tried to tell y'all, created by the one and only the queen of the Crenshaw district, Miss Keita Trotter. Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and follow her. Follow your moderators. Follow everybody that's speaking that you resonate with. Okay, just Hey, thanks for letting me keep you connected and in the know with what's happening in the black world. Don't forget to smash on that like button for support and for more black news. Go ahead, speak. And then I, I know TD, TD, TD e. Punch wanted to speak too. Hey, hey, so after you Google at TD. Cornell, real quick, before I, I need to go to dinner, I just want to say one last point. Listen. If a person is, you trust that person and you give them mo the money to do what you want them to do, all we're talking about is results. If Karen had did what she was supposed to be doing, none of this shit, would, it would all be a mute point. But she didn't do it, so that's why we're talking about it today. Go ahead, Blue. Go ahead, Blue. Go ahead, Blue. Go ahead, Blue. Everybody got their opinion, right? But didn't nobody spend the money? And did nobody motherfucking go pay the services for the shit to get done? And didn't nobody make no money. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So... 
So can none of us really speak as motherfucking passionately as we? I didn't heard everybody speak about these two entities' business. But what I can speak about is from my own experiences with the same exact to the T motherfucking thing. I will not name nobody because we know we don't do that. Okay, but I have spent the same exact money. Okay, the same exact fucking dollar amount. All right, and I watch people do this to me. One thing Wack is saying is he want to see the PDS. Because if these niggas is finna spend 60000 at radio, then I'm going to go for ads at a certain time. My fucking record is going to be peaking at certain places. You're going to be seeing that shit go up or down. You're going to see if you got overnight spins. And the management is fucking responsible to watch this. If this shit ain't happening the first fucking six weeks, four, five weeks, after you just spend the 60000 let's dead and decease this shit and get our fucking bread back. I didn't been through this shit. Now, outside of that, the 60 it was it was for more than radio. I heard that too. Cool. Let me tell y'all something, man. When we get this money and we spend it, we ain't fucking Def Jam. We ain't Atlantic. Nigga, it's niggas on the street that go to the club every fucking day and know every fucking DJ. All right, in the whole fucking Florida or the whole Georgia, California, wherever. And it's their job to take a brown bag from Blue Da Vinci and Blue Da Vinci's artist song that he working and go to all these DJs and get them niggas an amount of money out of his pocket. Where the fuck is the receipt for that? There is no receipt for that shit, bro. It ain't no receipt for it. And if you try to get something, you're putting somebody in jail. So y'all That's stop playing. Y'all industry That's people like y'all don't know this shit. It. Like this nigga whack, just some gangster don't know what he's talking about. But on the other hand, people are saying... What the fuck did she do? Now, you got to go back to the public to know that. Who knew Joyner Lucas? Who was hearing about Joyner Lucas when she was working his project? Nobody. All right, so let me just what, say what this. What interviews thing. was hold being on, put let out? Let me just man, say this. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let him land. 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 Let through my management, this is the bitch that you gave my money to. You were right. supposed but to hold this said, bitch look, accountable look, look, for it. I don't even Where the fuck, fuck is it look, I'm going to keep it 100. I don't fuck with shorty. All right? I don't even fuck with shorty. Flat out. So this ain't no choosing side shit with the shit she fuck with G's and then give me my fucking credit. I ain't fuck with her anyway. But I ain't here to talk about no shit like everybody's feeling, right? So let me give it to y'all 100. Keep it 100. The shorty came in that motherfucker and said, look, I got the bread. I got mine, and I gave the money to who all the people that were supposed to get the, fuck, the fucking vendors. That's what you do with the money. It's called a budget. She ain't hell. I guarantee you, Karen Simple ain't held sixty thousand dollars and bought purses and burgers until that shit was gone. It's impossible. But she cannot. Also, I swear, this where this where you get mad, Tiara. She also can't show you the receipts, bro, for the people that actually goes and spends all the money. And that's there is where the no problem in lies. For it. it ain't gonna happen. You can't. It ain't do gonna it. happen. You ain't gonna never Can get receipts do for it. it. And guess no, what? She ain't when, go out there and do it herself. That's when the beef started. That's when the beef starts. Because it's like, you're not going to tell me. No, the beef got to go say, look, I don't went. know. She got to say, I don't know. The the I paid these people, but uh, now what Wax said from the beginning, to protect this man money, first things first. People were saying they paid the 60000 but nobody is saying they went over the plan of attack. You go over the plan of attack. Somebody can say Karen Simple the shit, and then you just give her 60000 Who the fuck do business like that? No. Exactly. The shit, and, and then we have a sit down, and, and then we have a rollout, industry. and then we make a plan on what we going right. to do, and then I know exactly where all my money is going. I don't need to talk to her. But it's a lot exactly of green niggas that'll right. do that dumbass shit. Yeah, yeah know. but that's so I know where my money went to. If I made listen, dog. Exactly. Hey, whack, and this is what you didn't say, bro. I know where my money went because before I paid it to you, I know where it was going. So once I give you my 60 grand, I don't never got to talk to Karen Civil again. I'm finna go talk to this street team because I got them on foul. Or like I'm what Wax said, I'm going to talk to my managers. Because right. that's what the manager's supposed to do. The artist just sit back and make fucking music. The artist should but never be talking about But it's a new day and shit. a new time. And I want any artist on this motherfucker to understand that. It's a new day and a new time. You need to understand okay. everywhere check the, check the that your point is going to hear it. Check the people, that's next, to you, you you check the people that's next to you first if you want to protect that. your money. Check the people that's next to you first. This is why I'm a manager. Watch this. I got a question. Hold up. This is why I'm a manager. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. TD Punch wanted to say something, Keita. TD Punch wanted to say something. Punch wanted to say I love punch speak. Punch wanted to speak. Wait, real quick. I'm trying to ask this Frank in here because Fetty White people came in. That's cool, but let punch speak. Let's speak. Ain't, ain't, that's punch. Punch West. That's yeah, that's listen. punch, man. Let punch speak. Go ahead, punch. Oh, no, no, no. I'm good. I'm, I'm just listening and learning. 
Is Frank in here? Hey, look, if Punch ain't gonna speak may again, say, people still something? coming in. Okay, people still coming into the room. Welcome to the Crenshaw District. Please hit that greenhouse at the top. Hit the bell on the greenhouse as well. Hit the bell on Keita's name. Follow Keita Trotter. She is the creator of the Crenshaw District, creator of this topic today that you all are enjoying and partaking in. You make sure you follow all the moderators, those that are um, people that, you know, resonate with, with you when they speak. Please do that, all right? Welcome to the Crenshaw District. I'm going to get the floor over back to the conversation. I was trying to I, see I, you. I, I, I was trying to say one thing here. I'm going to say one thing here if he's not. Why are y'all cutting her off while she's talking? Fuck. Yeah, what you say? Who that? 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 Who where Frank Robinson is, so they can come up as Keita Trying to try to get up here too, I think. I'm gonna let y'all know this, and this is can real. Can you bring shit, my Keita. boy Kermit up, y'all? Look, 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 Keita, you know this, right? All right, for somebody, this is real shit, because I'm very confused. That's stealing money from this many people, and she is visible as the fuck she is. I'm very fucking right. confused about this. <laughs> <laughs> but why you very fucking confused? No, no, wait, wait, wait. First of all, no, 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 no. I'm gonna look. Let me tell you, all the artists, y'all have to know this. If you got a manager, right, that ain't spending money uh, on you, that ain't providing a way for funds to come to you, and it ain't coming out of your pocket. You don't have a motherfucking manager. You got homeboy management. See, can't none of my artists say nothing to me because the first hundred, two, three hundred thousand comes out of my fucking pocket before I even go get a deal or whatever. So I'm not going to rob my fucking self. I'm just letting okay, them know. Okay, so do you that understand the fact that if you don't have a manager, maybe Joyner didn't, and your shit just gets stolen out of your own fucking pocket? He like, did have a manager. He, he had a manager. He had a manager. But where what is I'm it telling, at? Where is what it I'm at? telling you is this. Joyner is a victim. Joyner is a victim of the play. Thank you. I'm exactly. telling you, exactly. God damn it. Exactly. But what we're saying is, that should not have happened. Man, ah, you talking an unrealistic world. No, that just makes sure no sense should happen in the world. Everybody just dishonest because it's an unrealistic world. That's just like saying no sense should happen, happen in the world. Why are you doing this to black artists? You guys are black. Oh, no, black, white. Okay that don't mean shit. Stop it with that. This is the music business. Why are you okay with doing this to black artists like This is the music. What I'm telling you is what you're saying. you got to ask these other black management that Yeah, what you're saying is, stop killing with the black shit. What you're saying is this. You're not saying there's no sin in the world. Listen, man, that's why you got to put a team together. I don't give a fuck about that black or white shit. I'm going to tell you that right now. Well, now, you need to stop talking because I'm okay why you should stop talking. You know that's all for me. I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass. Wait up. Hold on. Let me tell you why you should stop talking. Don't act like you ain't said that many a night in certain living rooms where motherfuckers is hearing it's a finesse move. We about to finesse. No, you I, know grew up, I grew up in a Haitian house. He's talking to me. Where my parents went to work. Hey, he's talking to Tiara. He's talking to Tiara Marie. If you're no, not Tiara and me, you said it. And her, so it's a finesse. Right. It's a finesse. You're right you, about that. And that's okay, what made me get on my shit. Because you're okay, not going to play with my like coins you that know. I'm spending out of my motherfucking pocket, period. Stop. When I'm saying to the room... This is what this is. This is why every artist I sign, Wax spend his money. See, with that, what your manager ain't gonna do, he ain't gonna rob himself of his own motherfucking money. If he, if he, if he believe in you and he fucking with you, he gonna spend his own money out of his own pocket to get you started. Period. Or go to somebody that you know that can watch whoever your homeboy management is. Because a bunch of them out there, if your manager's broke, it's a good chance a nigga can strike a side deal with him. I'm just going to keep it going. I, mean, I don't know if that, that. was what I this agree was about with that. Yeah. But what I'm saying, Wack, is everybody should dot their I's and cross their motherfucking T's from the artist to the manager to the motherfucker that y'all giving money to. Period. That's all I'm saying. Like, let's just do not business. Fairly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to happen. Cross your T's. Dot them whatever you want to do with the motherfucking T's. That's, that's not going to happen. Either. You know that's not going to happen. People going to do business with certain people. Based on the just because they name got a buzz and we all know it. Nah, somebody no collide right now. Hold on, somebody, 
whack. Hold on. Somebody could lie right now on this stage and inbox to one of these rappers that's in the group right now and say they work with you and boom, drop five bands. How much you want to bet? They could even be like, drop 500 and I can contact you, put y'all together. Facts. How much you want to bet niggas will really drop that money? These green niggas. Facts. These green ass niggas. And this is well, what's hard so Exactly, I know, and that's the problem. I'm gonna be real. Anybody out there? There There is nothing wrong with somebody charging a fee to connect you with somebody you can't get to. That's business. And mind you, it's business, and that's what happens. I feel like that's the stupidest thing you could do. No, the fuck it ain't. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes that's the dumbest thing you could do is motherfucking give your money to somebody. Access cost. Access cost. Yeah, for real. Because I gave some free access and I don't regret it. (laughs) That's cool, but a lot of people don't have the same access. So a lot of people be really spending money out of their pocket. That's the people that I'm defending. Is the motherfuckers who really come out of their pocket and give motherfuckers money and then motherfuckers slay them. No I'm lie, I used to charge right. niggas fifteen thousand dollars for a sidewalk meet for sure. Frank in the room. I charge niggas fifteen racks for sidewalk meets for sure. Like they wanted to pay it, they paid. We ate. Nigga, give me five. He kept ten. That's just what it was. Nah, shit, don't come to me. But then, what did you do? Home. What did you do with the other money? They love. What sure got his cut? I got my cut. What you mean? But so y'all just took the money and ran all of the money. Y'all no, no, we got his money on the good. sidewalk. What you mean? I'm now, if you wanted to come in the office, that was twenty five. But okay, if you want to so be on the sidewalk, I mean, so the, other, the other money <laughs> y'all didn't put it into what they gave it to you. To no, you missing the, the point. All he wanted was a meeting with Suge Knight. We don't know what the nigga wanted to make about. That's something totally different. That's not what Joyner was talking about. That's something totally different. Joyner got niggas work. Because niggas know at the beginning of the day. Joyner career, that listen. Set, that's what they doing it Here go the reality of it. Joyner had already spent a half a million, and nobody knew who the fuck he was. So the working just didn't start with the 60s. That's all I'm saying. That was just a like glass. Oh, okay, well, you should have said that from the yeah, job. That was just the last 60 totally The nigga already right. spent 500 like, so the nigga, it was over team. with. But Jonah, I'm not trying time, to Jonah blame the whole good, shit bro. on Karen at all because no, I don't he said that. Oh, no, I'm saying I knew who Jonah was, but that's all I'm saying. Or attacked or anything like that. But at the end of the day, a motherfucker, if I put my money out, I just want to know where every coin is going. That's all I'm trying yeah, to do. Yeah, you mean to tell me? I'm going to fuck it. I'm going to speak on it. You didn't watch me and Ray J. With this fake ass military. And that's it. That's your black tea for today. I don't want you to miss any of this black news, celebrity entertainment, or splash of controversy. So be sure to subscribe on your way out here only on In the Know Radio, home of the best black news. Uh-uh, I know that's not you. Sitting back there talking about supporting black businesses and they never really doing it. Get it together. This is for the people who really support black businesses. Head over to pleasebeeasy.com when you get a chance and help keep the black dollar in the community for longer than the six hour statistics show. But Be More Like Us is a unisex clothing line. So it's got something for you, your honey, and even the kids. I know the fellas head over there because the new releases color coordinate with the new sneaker drops. So sneakerheads, <laughs> you're welcome. They even have masks over on pleasebeeasy.com. So make sure the first thing you do when you finish this video is head to pleasebeeasy.com for the latest, freshest, unapologetically black owned fashion for men, women, and kids. It's time to face it, boo. Your product needs more exposure. If you want to see your ad here on my channel, be sure to shoot an email over to yt.theplainestjane at gmail.com and let's chat. Hey, listen, check it. I definitely appreciate you coming through and hitting that subscribe button for more black news, celebrity entertainment, and a splash of controversy. Do me a favor and tap that circle right there in the middle of your screen to subscribe and support the movement. Or I'll catch you in one of them rectangles over there to the right in another video. I'll see you there.